Wow, it's rascal. Almost a year of Scorpi. Here's to another almost a year with Scorpi. We would ba ba boo. Let's rascal and roll. Rascal time BB So spins you live Real Rascal Hours Get Rascally Baby Or 33 moths just for a little rascal. Just remembered I have a job now so I can do this. Bok Bunster The true rascal is the Scorpi we made along the way so spins fuck yes sir happy 45 moths to me BTW. Sometimes we're all a little bit of a rascal. Ten moths. That's so many. My so spin babin is so old now. I love my little rascal. Hee <laughs> hee. We like to joke here. Yeah yeah.
Um, oh, is this a? I feel like this is, might be copyright. Let's 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 do this. The vibes. I feel like I'm trying to concoct the perfect rascal vibe. I'm trying to curate the perfect rascal vibe. I'm seeing, okay, sometimes before streams, the music is like hectic or it's bouncy. This is more, we're getting into chill. We're trying to chill because I feel like if I did really intense music, and an intense intro before I played Rascal, I would, I would burn all that energy like immediately. Whereas if I go into a chill, then it's more of like a, I I have more of a of an energy tank. Plus, I think I'm falling ill. I might be falling ill. This is fine. I haven't. I haven't been sick for like a year and a half, so it's it's due. I'm falling ill. Cause look, it's, I think I'm already sick. I could tell. Yesterday I was I was tired, but otherwise fine. And today I was like. Thor, even though I rested yesterday, so that means something's up. I get tested for COVID. I've still got tests. I don't know if they expire. Um, but I still got some. It's fine. I'm gonna just try and rest. Either way, whether either way, whether they're like whether they're expired or not, like I'm just gonna wait until I'm not sick and then wait an extra couple of days before I do anything. Regardless. Watch video aspirin, I should. I understand now why like older people are like, damn, I'm sick and my leg is bothering me again. Because now my my arm, my shoulder hurts for no reason. I think probably just because I'm sick now that I'm, my shoulder is going to start bothering me whenever I'm sick. The body. The old old school stream VOD is the best one ever. That was, that was like... I think that's the favorite stream, my favorite stream that I've done, like... I think maybe since Shrek, Shrek on Xbox. That was... Three hours went by like it was 20 minutes. And it was just chaos. I didn't, I could not tell what was happening. That was, it was wild. I'm gonna return to it probably... This weekend or next week. Because we need to, we need to go back to it, even though, because that, because that's what we do. Wrestling Empire, the first stream. And Scoopy met a tragic end. This time, same thing happened. So we have to start another story. I don't know if Tiny Scoopy's going to return, but... I did do about Balp, Balp's metal pipe saga. You think you know me? Um, and then I did bloop. Uh, did I do Bloopy the alien? That one was crazy. You got hit by a subway train and died. That was a lot. I think that's the last time I I did Wrestling Empire. Bloopy the alien got hit in the head by a subway train. So we'll have to we'll have to see when we go back to old school, which will be. Sometime early next week. Unless I'm like terribly ill and I can't stream for like two weeks, but I could I could tell from how I feel. It's rising. It'll probably peak 
tomorrow or Wednesday, and then I'll probably by like Friday or Saturday, I'll be like back in shape. I can tell how th these things go. I'm looking at the other monitor. I'm looking at Rascal, and I'm like, I need to like preemptively pull up a guide. I was trying to find official guides. Um for this game and there aren't any really the only way you can play through rascal is from a game facts guide there's no like brady games or whatever moby games all right how am i able to predict my sickness level well, i've been sick before Let me get let me get into the mood. I'm, I was looking up Rascal soundtrack and it tried to give me Rascal Flat soundtrack. Full PS One full soundtrack. All right. Oh, I forgot Rascal does have some pretty good music. Well, it has the one good song. All right, get into your Rascal mindset. I'm sipping on some coffee. So I don't remember where we left off. Oh my God. This is the hub world music. I'm pretty sure. I think I remember last stream. We were in a water level. I think that's possible. Let me look up a guide just real quick. Rascal PS1 guide. I think this is the only guide here. So we did the temple level. Oh, but I forgot you have to do each level, I think in the future, present and past, right? I think maybe that's why I stopped playing. We did the castle past. And we did the castle present. And then we did the temple past. And then we did Atlantis past. And Atlantis, we might have done Atlantis present. So it might be about halfway through the game. Who fucking knows? But the next level after that, after the water level, is a city level. Alright, let's let's jump back into the game. Get our get our bearings. Gotta prepare, gotta prepare myself My water to use the level deep is a shitty platform. level if you know what I mean. Alright. So I think the last time did I try to play with cheats to be able to get through the game quicker. I think that's what I did. Oh yeah, I forgot this is how the, oh Lord, okay. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot this is how the game controls. Damn, okay. Uh, yeah. It's tank controls. It's tank controls, but um, 
it's tank controls, but if you run towards the camera and like the camera moves like this, you can't press down. You can't run towards the, like the controls don't adapt to where the camera is. It's always down is always backwards and front is always forwards no matter what. Oh, I forgot I have to manually load my save in here. I thought this... I smelled somebody playing a 3D platformer in here. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back on Rascal. It smells really bad. I need is to. Is it okay? Oh. Where? What is my? Oh, I forgot. This game also shows you saves for other games. Uh, yeah, what happens Rugrats if you load games. the Stuart Little save? I don't think anything happens. Oh, let me. I think I tried that at one point. Not a it's rascal save game. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Could have guessed. Uh, I'm gonna guess the higher the level, the better the save. Level zero three oh two. But I think one of these saves has cheats enabled. I don't remember. I do recall the last time you streamed this. I, I do recall you having some trouble with the saving and loading system of the game. Yeah, I, I, there was something going on there. I think it was. I think oh, because I think I tried to play it on a media share night, but you could turn the music off in the game but it's tied to your save so like if i wanted right. to turn the music off i would have to re start a new game just m fucked up uh so this one says i'm on level 302 which i think is the water level if i had to guess which i they really couldn't have made it more confusing nope. i think not remember how to get to the water level there's no direction whatsoever <laughs> you're just forced to wander this is the castle i think well i can't look at this yeah that's the castle i think oh boy it's rascal you it is rascal uh blue door maybe blue for water that i think is the Temple? I can't even tell from the picture there. It's probably not that, though. When's Limited Run Games gonna make a collector's edition of this? I would buy that. Really? Only if they did it, get, but if they gave me the option to not... If they fixed the controls, I would... I would probably... Enjoy this. It definitely would be better. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be... But then again... This game, part of it is about the challenge. I've... Red door? Nope. Nope. I think I went through... Is this a door? Hmm. Well, maybe I this isn't the right through... save. I can't even get through the hub world. Uh, uh, I did no, say that's you where I started. What, level it's three, level three, two? which... Three, two, which has to be the, the water level. Oh, I think it's downstairs. I think I remember the basement being something. Uh, green door. Nope. Game's uh, kind of scary looking. A little bit. But I kind of like it. Oh, it. yellow door. Thank God they color coded it. Uh, this has to be the third level. It's so out of the way. I can't tell what that is. I think it's I just have to. It's the green one. I don't. Uh. Will it, like, tell you if you... Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Math. I also have no life. I have... It saves your... Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah, I forgot about the map. That's the map? <laughs> That's the map. <laughs> <laughs> my house. The, my house. So, yeah, we're at the and bottom. And I drew a fern for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they... I have no health. Like, I remember the game... The game oh ties your health to your save and your lives, so it's easier to just get a game over than to keep playing with what you have. I hope I can't, I, uh, hopefully this is the right level. Uh, I um, don't remember. Well, I mean, oh, I think this, this is, like, this is the water level. you'll make progress, right? Like, if you just... I got no idea. I, I, this has to be the water level. this before? I definitely I remember I remember seeing this uh, level okay. last time I played. 
I think it turns into like there's an underwater area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit rusty. Wow, I made it. Oh yes, this is the water level. This is Atlantis. I like this song. Yeah, the the, the music for this level is good. Oh, oh, I forgot that brings me somewhere. Oh, oh. no. Oh, gee, I think he, he just got hit by an invisible jellyfish. <laughs> oh, there's an extra live. Good luck. <laughs> this is just reminding me of Donkey Kong 64 at this point. It is, it is. It is, except there's an actual air meter in the water level. What is oh, this? Oh, God, you're right. I would, uh, what? I don't know what that is. Oh, you can go all the way upside down. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, you could just... There's no limits. You could literally just... <laughs> do this. <laughs> they re that's really... That's badass, actually. Very athletic. Well, I think that's all that was here. I got a, a red thing, whatever that is. Oh, right. <clears throat> You're looking for, like, four things. I'm looking for six. Right. Oh, six. Damn. I think the, the top two pieces of the hourglass, and then there's four pieces within the hourglass. Mm -hmm. Uh, break. Oh, of course, that hurts me. Great. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. What's even the point of having that hurt you? Like, you can only uh, jump on top of it on purpose. They had the option. They were like, let's just add that. Also love that every door in the game has the wooden door sound. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. They seem to be unaffected uh, I, by your bullets. Oh, he died. Oh, he oh, gave he me an hourglass piece. Oh. Okay. Well, there you oh. go. And there's a crab on the floor that's about to kill you. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Okay. I die in one hit. I'm pretty sure. I think that's all there is for me in this room. It looks like there's something over there. Oh. Unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like... I forgot he has, like, that super stomp, and enemies respawn, like, immediately. What happens if I... You gotta do the shell jump. I wonder what this is for. Can you jump from the top of that over those bookcases? Oh no, there's an invisible wall. I don't think I'm supposed yeah, to go there. I guess not. I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, fuck, I forgot. How I, also, yeah, I also forgot what? the enemies drop, like, health, uh, de like, uh, negative health power-ups. I forgot That's about so that. Mean. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. There's no way to avoid it. You have to jump on the enemies, so you, you will always get hit by it. Okay, so this is the same room. Oopsie, Something about how this game yeah. looks makes me think oh, God. that it, it, this game looks like somebody tried to make a PS1 game. And I think that just goes to show how well people recently have emulated the PS1 style. Is that this doesn't even look like a real game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it has everything that's like emblematic of those games. Oh, uh, yeah, I forgot. this. I think this will kill me in one hit if I miss. This just reminds me of Croc. Yeah, I think that's a, a part of the reason why I did not even last five minutes with Croc, because I was like, this is... I already have Rascal. Rascal. I don't need... <laughs> I've already got Rascal at home. Oh, wonder what that platform is up there.
Oh yeah, the amazing switches that don't do anything. Mm. Oh, there's a th something up there. It looks special. It's like a coin. Oh, it's an hourglass piece. Oh, okay. Uh, That's, that dude is doing something. He's peeing. That's all there is here. I guess that's all there is here. Oh, there's something up there. You think is there a maybe first those person? buttons do something to the water level or something? Well, I pressed both of them down, so whatever it is, they're yeah, both on. True. Oh wait, no, this one went back wait. up. So... Oh, I don't think it changed. It, it might be doing something. Cool, I am in time for shapes in water. There's something. Let me look at this... It's a game facts guide. Hold on, let me look up... Uh, oh heck yes, which. baby, eight months. The game's certainly not going to tell you what it's doing. Oh, absolutely not. But now nah, switch uh, blue. Look at blue. All occurrences of blue. So I think this. So this is Atlantis. There's a this button in the room and you forgot to press it. Is there really? Where? No? Okay. You can't do that. Uh... Let's see here. Ah, what a pain in the butt this level turned out being for me. There's a little story behind this level. I'll explain it briefly. I purchased- <laughs> This person's giving me their life story in the game fact. I purchased Rascal when it came out in 1998. I played the first few levels until I got to this level. I could not figure out what to do. Was I supposed to open the blue door first? And how- What blue door? If you've had this same problem and have resorted to this guide, fear not. This will explain everything. See, I stopped it, playing like in 1998. <laughs> I stopped playing in 1998, but I never started playing again until 2003, a whole five years. Would you believe it? Well, anyways, here's the walkthrough. <laughs> it said walk across the bridge and jump up on the first platform, jump back and forth. Okay, so this is this is Atlantis. Uh, once inside the building, you can shoot the wall to your immediate left to, re to reveal a secret if you wish. I don't think I did that. Maybe I should go do that. You wish. It says if I wish. Do you wish it? I uh, might as well. I wonder what a secret means. Oh god. Oh no. Oh my dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this. So I can start back it's up with full faster. lives. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. This is the game. <laughs> oh, yo. This is where it's all the budget went. This kid's lost to time. That's a scary end. Oh, I this <laughs> It's the vizier. Grain silo ending. Yeah, he fell in. I'm pretty sure we... I don't think we've ever seen that guy who's in the game over in the game yet. He's not appeared. Wait, it doesn't oh, matter. God. I forgot it doesn't matter because I have to spawn in and then load my save, so it's gonna load my yeah. lives and health anyways. This fucking I game. I really love that it like goes straight from a menu to like you are playing as the character on the menu. Yeah, no, I think that part That's is cool. Good. May you have many That's lives. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, so this is, so, yeah, this is 302, but it says, Atlantis it, it here is f 5, but I guess that's just, yeah, I don't know, yeah, I don't know, but this seems to be it. I don't know what 302 means versus 300. Zero zero.
This is it's a lot harder than I thought it would be to get back into this game. I'm scrubbing through a video, see if I can't help. <clears throat> I just don't know where I am in like the like the like the flow of the game. I don't know if I'm because we I played through there was the right a spot. we're in the castle that's world zero or one and then we were there was the aztec temple which was one or two and then there Did was you, like, a factory at any point i don't think so i don't think so which would explain why this would be mm. level three then what uh let me look up this guide a bit more. <coughs> yeah, I think, yeah. So I've done the castle, I've done the Aztec temple, and then this is, so this is the third world, Atlantis. Uh, okay. Now I just have to figure out if we're Atlantis past or Atlantis present. This could also all be like complete, oh, the waterfall hurts me, yeah. My God. <laughs> That is mean. Uh, can I play Grinch for PS1, please? I didn't know that existed. I would play that. Is there a video game you won't play? Uh. Oh. But, is it Rascal? No. Uh. <laughs> what would be a game where I'm just like, I'm never going to touch that? I'm trying to I mean, think. I'm sure there are games that would be very boring, you know? Yeah. Not, not like the Grinch for PS1, which is a masterpiece. Yeah, that one I don't... Bubsy? I, th I've pl I think I've played Bubsy on stream. I've I think I played the PS1 Bubsy on stream at some point. Um, I definitely wouldn't pay, play Omicron. O Omicron is the one game people told me, like, don't bother really? playing it. It might be, like, the like the most, like... It's that like bad. messed up controls wise just like just watch a youtube video of it and i just I, that makes me curious but i believe them uh so i could shoot the left to reveal a secret oh Ooh. this looks like a fun secret that will kill you if yeah you i was about careful. to say do i want to lose my lives on the secret is there any first person mode in this game uh, probably nope. not right oops nope oh there you go well, atlantis passed map. at least it tells me where like not where but what level i'm on yeah so i'm on atlantis pass kilometer is so full well okay let's do this this better be worth it, be Game Facts guy. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. I thought I was gonna die there. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Is that it? Certainly there's, there's something else to get, There's right? other platforms. I do remember that being a thing in this game. Oh my god, it's ammo. <laughs> I don't no want to. <laughs> not even worth it. Awesome secret. I could literally just find that shit like laying around. <laughs> Look. There's another there's one right there for there's free. There's like a gun upgrade there for free as you enter the level. Awesome, dude. Secret indeed. It's also like a timed. It's a timed upgrade, and there's no enemies in this room, so I don't get why what the choice was there. All right, I know there's an hourglass piece here and an extra life. Well, I actually don't know what that is, the red thing. All right, get the life. Oh, there we go. Game sm smells like a tech demo. I think, I don't remember, I might be mixing this up with sneakers or another game like this, but I think this was Blockbuster exclusive or Toys R Us exclusive. So it was, it was probably slapped together, or it might not have been, I might be misremembering that. You think that opens the red doors? That would make sense. 
Let me wow. actually look that up on this thing. Um, swim down. Okay, this is the red key. So I picked up the what that was a red key. Get the extra life on the way back up. Swim back up to the lobby. Go through the center yellow door on the ground floor of the lobby. In this large room, you'll see floating platforms moving back and forth, but carefully jump across. You'll see a red switch on the left and a blue switch on the, on the left. Wrong. Uh, it's important for me to explain that you need to first jump on and press this blue panel for later reasons. Each of the blue panels in this level raises a floating platform in this exact room you're in. So just make sure that you press every blue panel from here on out. See the FAQ section for all panel locations. Now that we've got that clear, go through the door on the... They don't tell me to jump on the red one. They just mentioned it. <laughs> there's like... Well, make you at least sure know that you the, have to... Yeah, that there's blue to platforms. Grab the piece. Yeah. All right. Game is about My patience. favorite part is when he said it's rascal time and rascal all over oh, the fuck, place. Fuck, 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 fuck. No. So you got one more life. What's the worst that could happen? Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, that means I have one life to... do the entire game yeah basically. essentially oh god oh god well Ooh. there goes my entire well, there health is a heart bar. in the next room i think right yeah but that'll give me like a fifth of my health bar yeah i think there probably will be an enemy that'll take it back immediately yeah i think there is a an enemy in this room at least i have protection in the fountain Something I see that this person does in the video is they they shoot that other statue that looks like it's holding a ball, and it seems to drop a. Oh key yeah, yeah. There's something coming out of that actually. Oh wow, I think that's the blue key. Yeah. So you might need that. Once outside, run up to the statue on the left. Jump to the left. Grab the bottom hourglass piece. This is where I got stuck at. Run over to the right statue and notice that it is sparkling. Shoot the sparkling statue to reveal the, reveal the blue key. Collect the key and head all the way back to the lobby. Okay. Hooray. Maybe I can get some health from these guys. You might get some health or you might get some Or I might get poison. <laughs> Time to find out. Crazy if they respawn that fast. What's even the point of killing? Them? Oh, I guess to the, farm for health. The fucking health bar, also the health you, power up disappears. Sir, I think I when it, they respawn. Moths. Enjoy, sir. Enjoy your moths. Yeah, I think this is the the technique here. I just gotta farm health to get over. Do you think playing this game while you're getting sick is going to affect your opinion of it? Uh... Kinda seems like maybe, a fever dream kind of game. Yeah, I was about to say, maybe favorably. Like, I feel like... Oh, there's poison. Oh, careful now. Oh, God. Alright, I think I might be okay. If I fall in the water... No then I'm fucked either way, so. Yeah. Whether I have a full health bar or not, like, doesn't... They don't say to, to jump on the red one. I feel, I don't, I feel like I probably should. You could step um, on it and see if anything happens. Large room, you'll see floating platforms moving back and forth over the, the carefully jump across the way you'll see something like... Red switch on the left and a blue switch on the right. You need to first jump on and press the blue pa blue panel for later. I'm going to trust this person that they don't say to jump on the red panel. I'm not going to do it. So, maybe that's for later. They seem to know their shit. Well, they did write a guide. Yeah. 
five years after they played the game. <gasps> oh, and they okay. played the game and then waited half a decade to play it again. Alrighty. Oh, there's health over there. That's beautiful. It says this time, head upstairs. Well, how are you two of you? No matter what side you went up, the steps take you to the same place. So imme immediately walk up the steps and turn around to the top. Go through the door ahead. Turn around to the top. Did the guard in this room collect the top right? Yeah, we did that. Look for a table on the left side of this room. Jump up on it and hit the switch on the wall. Huh? There's no guard. Oh, well, maybe they're talking about the I think the they mean room. the next room. Where yeah. you kill the guy that drops a thing. Oh god, oh god. Oh, damn it. Yes. He said jump on the table. Oh, there is a switch. Oh, that's hard to uh, see. Oh, it blends in. Love that that didn't tell me what, what the fuck that did. Uh, I'm gonna guess maybe it moved the bookshelf in this room. That it kind of looked like you could jump over it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Oh, well. Huh? Is there... Do you have to, like, use the key on the door or something? Uh, no, I don't remember. Blue door. Go over to the blue shell on the table, and if you have the blue key, then I'll have to unlock it oh at the God. blue shell. What? <laughs> what the... <laughs> That's just unnecessary. The uh, rascal can be fun. This would be a really fun game to like completely blind race. I think oh, it's that would just be... miserable enough. Yeah. Without a guide and without help, I truly don't think like you could probably spend weeks playing this game and yeah. like not finish <laughs> just it. Just never finish it. Um, I'm safe here. I got I got the left top left. Did I get the top left? Oh no, that's you got the top right. Oh, I got the top right. That's the one. That, that's what they say. In this room is a yellow door on the left. Go through it and into a good sized room. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing in here that I. Well, I need to step on the blue. Well, you gotta thing. hit that blue switch. Yeah. Oh God, is that poison? Mysterious yeah. blue switch, which we'll we will find out later in the guide, I guess. Uh, well, did you hit it twice? I think I didn't know I could unhit it. How can you even unhit it? Weird. All right, time to go into the good-sized room. Pretty good. Okay, not being aggroed immediately by enemies. That guy's probably gonna drop something. Um. Take care of the guard walking around to collect the top left hourglass piece. Next, look for the sparkling water pitcher on the right table. Shoot this and get the green key. Yeah, you I, you you can barely see that shit is sparkling. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I like progressing in this game. Makes me happy. Does it feel good? Oh. What feels better, collecting an hourglass piece in Rascal or getting a Jiggy in Banjo-Kazooie? Oh, an hourglass piece, 100%. <laughs> that one feels better. <laughs> you gotta work so hard for those things. <laughs> because you know you're closer to not having to play Rascal anymore. And unlocking the secrets of future Rascal worlds. Right, who knows? There might be a... I've I got all know. the keys now. There might be a volcano level. We got all the keys. If I didn't have this guide, I think genuinely there's no way I would have known to shoot the statue and I would have been completely lost. There's yep. no way. Um, Look, they got to get you renting this for at least a month straight. <laughs> you, need the, you need to use the, the tip line. That was that was genuinely like a like a that influenced game design back then is making shit up like Difficult, so you had to call the the toll helpline and pay them for the answer. Just um, making your games needlessly esoteric. <laughs> but it means that they age amazingly, because then nobody knows what the how the fuck to yeah, progress. Except, like a, it's like hieroglyphs. 
Um, where are we here? Collect this and head the okay, blah 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 blah. Shoot this and get the green key. Collect this and head through to the next area. The switch on the left lowers the floor. So you can go down and get the bottom right hourglass piece. I think this was. Uh, I think this was the door. Yeah, Probably. I think that way. We'll find out. Oh, this room looks fun. Oh god. Can't rest. No rest nope. for Rascal. No camera controls for Rascal either. Nope. There's a lot of ammo here. I'm scared. Uh, that will lower the floor. I have the green key. So now I could open that. Okay. Oh, there's stairs. Thank Maybe God. Maybe that's just a shortcut to get back here faster. Hopefully. Let me see if they say to, uh go in there. I have to, like, find a safe spot before I read the guide. Uh. What was the floor so you can get the bottom right hourglass piece? Unlock the green door by... Okay, so it seems like they imply that you should go down there. Yeah. Oh, it's... Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's nothing then. It's just this. That didn't even give me a sound. That's disappointing. Well, hey, you're... Now you're two-thirds of the way done. I just need two more pieces. Oh, Lee. Oh, oh. Lee. Right. Oh, that's a really good angle. That's a really um, good camera angle to make me platform at. Um, how? What? What? Uh, let's see here. Out here is some water with four stones lying in it. Jump over to the mm -hmm. f first stone, then wait for the water to rise all the way up and then stop. Okay. Oh. Well, here goes nothing. I really yeah. this is just a shot in the dark. Oh. Oh. oh, that's that's tragedy. Well, now I know how to get there at least. It would really be great if this game let you re up your lives. <laughs> yeah. The fact that it doesn't is kind of crazy. I think they got an infinite lives cheat in Rascal. <laughs> I think I remember looking, I, I tried playing with cheats, but I think it fucked, like, it fucked up some stuff in the game. Like, it would fuck the UI up or some shit. Oh, uh, yeah, I could believe it. There was a reason why I definitely tried to play the game with cheats, because I was like, this is crazy. Yeah, if I had a Game Shark, I'm guessing there's a PS1 Game Shark. Maybe I should invest in that. So I, don't, I don't know if Game yeah, Shark you know, would have honestly... rascal codes. You play a lot of PS1 games. Yeah, some of these games are... I There's games like Azuric where it's like, I know if I played it, I would get through it. And there's games like Rascal where it's like, I genuinely don't know if I could finish this game because of how difficult it is. The code menu doesn't work on the PS2. Well, the, actually, the, <laughs> Rascal is the reason why I bought a PS1. I remember because I bought it and I played it oh. on PS2, and the and the code the code menu in the game didn't work and it was like a PS2 emulation issue, and so I bought right. a PS1 just to use the code menu. I think I I think I used it to skip levels to see later levels. I think, but I don't remember if I kept using that save or not. Well, because I tried I remember looking it. up, like, Rascal Lives Farming, and all that comes up is a YouTube video that says the worst PlayStation game ever made, Rascal. Yeah. That's like, so. there aren't there aren't many things on YouTube about Rascal. I think that's, like, one of the few videos about it. Like a video from 2012. Yeah. Yeah, we're on, no, we're on the, 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 Ras the Rascal cusp. Pretty sure nobody has streamed Rascal as much as I have on Twitch, and I streamed it three times. You don't think there's like one guy out there who speedruns this game? Oh, maybe. So I feel like don't. this is more the game, the type of game where someone speedran it once, got the record, got no competition, and never touched it again. Right. <laughs> that's that's probably more likely. It seems like that kind of vibe. Although I thought the same about Smarties on PS2, but then. There's, there was a, a flourishing competitive Smarties speedrunning scene shortly after we streamed well, that game. World record 
for Rascal PS1 was set six years ago, so not a very competitive game. Hmm. It's probably it's probably long, if I had to guess. It's an hour. Oh, it's not so bad. For any percent. There is no 100% speed run. Oh, Nobody I'm, wants to do that. I'm sure. I can't even think of what 100% would entail. Like, what would you have to collect? I don't know. I don't know what's optional in this game. I don't think... <laughs> it's fucked up, but I don't think anything's optional. I think you have to you collect have to, the hourglass pieces. And you have to get the keys to get through the game. Maybe, like, not collecting all the lives or something. Um... Uh... Do I go through here for... Yeah. You go through there and then you have to shoot the statue and stuff, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, that was a risky jump. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay. That's not bad. They're yeah, pretty good. Getting better. Uh, okay. Jump! Okay, then do this. Oh, I, I get it. I was like, what? How are those keys? But I see now, I think they're supposed to be pearls. Yeah, oh! Did you put them in the clam. Yeah. Keys on this level are pearls. Gotta keep my distance. Get a few more hearts. That was the worst that could happen. I'm worried about that red thing. I think I might have to hit that, but they don't. Um, I'll just keep going. I think you'll have to backtrack to this area anyway to get on top of that golden platform. Well, it seems like what the red switches are doing is they're raising the moving platforms so that I'll be able yeah, to like, climb up there. Uh, maybe, yeah. but then how the fuck would I, if I jump down and hit the red one, how would I get back? I don't know. We'll see. This game, I'll trust this game. I'm sure they've got something cooking. They got, they got some rascal recipe going. Oh, okay. Just lost what I gained in the, in an instant. Oh, of course. Wow. wow. <laughs> so fucking smart. Game. Why uh, does it punish you for killing enemies? It's so crazy. It's lovely. It really are. If I played this game as a kid, I would have grown up so much more like cynical about the world. It's would have been like, why would I ever do anything life. to help myself? It'll just, there's a possibility of it hurting me. Would never do I that. I think the game's trying to teach kids about how happiness is fleeting. Uh, oh yes. Ah! Oh, one spawned right under my feet. Okay. Oh, there's health. I hit the switch. Nothing else to do in here, I think. Um, let's go through. Oh, 
this dude. Get the key. <clears throat> Got it. Oh god. It spawned wow. on a power up. That's not fair. It just couldn't even just make it so it can't spawn <laughs> directly underneath your feet. Like really. They couldn't have. It's impossible. So I'm heading into this section with full health. Uh, oh, yeah, here's another thing with Rascal is sometimes the depth rendering is fucked up. Right now I'm I am I appear in front of the key, but I'm actually in front of the wall and the key is behind me. This is just a PS1 issue. Like it's 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 pretty there. bad here though. Like I remember there was like a platforming section with leaves, and I was just in front of the leaves the whole time. <clears throat> All right. All right. Try number two. <laughs> Fuck. This is scary. Don't panic. This Don't is panic. scary. This is scarier than all of Be Resident cool. Evil Eight. This moment is scarier than the entirety of Resident Evil Eight. You can do it. Oh god, that got half of my health. Yeah. They could have been a little nicer. <laughs> it definitely could have been a little nicer. And I think I have to go ar all around oh. now. I think. Oh god, the room I, is shaking. I mean, it looks like you could make that jump, but also it is <gasps> rascal. <gasps> Whoa, yeah, I have to. Camera, I have camera. to fight. I have to fight the urge in every other normal game where, if you're facing the camera, down on the D-pad would maybe go towards the the next platform. But in right. this game, it makes you go backwards. Oh my God, there's health there. Oh no! Go go go! It started going All right, down. you're good. That's you're insane. good. You did it. You're fine. That's you're insane. Fine. Why would they do that? You're a okay. Nothing to worry about. Oh, this is a nice room. All right, no one can get me. I think on this table. Oh, you get like homing bubbles or something. When you really when you useful have... for the infinitely respawning enemies. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Oh, as soon as you get to the fourth stone, the water starts to go back down, down. In this carpeted room, you'll notice a red door at the bottom right, which you can't go through just yet. Okay. Yeah, because I need the red key. Um, instead, go through the door ahead. Go through this room with music notes on the wall and through the next door to a bathroom-like area. Take care of the guard and collect the top hourglass piece. Okay, so I need ammo. There's going to be a guard. <clears throat> Oh god, thank god that water doesn't hurt. Oh no, that's just the floor. Okay. Uh, I love this piano. Damn. That's really cool. I think the aesthetics in this level are neat. Yeah, compared to, compared to the other levels, this is a fun level. L l fun looking level. Oh god. I need to just go through. Can I get some health before I go? Am I being greedy right now? No. There we go. I, I don't think you're being greedy. Alright, where's the guard? Uh... Oh. Well, one more to go. You're so close. Of course, enemies start spawning the moment there's peace. Uh, scared to jump in there. Yeah, Probably. I wouldn't do that. That seems uh, like a bad idea. A heart? This game is feels like it would just kill you. All right. Oh, 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 oh. 
<gasps> double, double health. health okay i'm not gonna go in there i'm gonna go back to this room where it's safe up on the piano read my book um we're in the same room unlock the red door instead of going instead of going back to the red door jump in the big bathtub down the slide okay so it doesn't kill oh. me once you complete okay. the slide oh i don't want to do the slide the slide is scary that's just gonna kill me if it's if it's like the other slides i do recall that, the other slides being that shit was really hard not great um it doesn't seem to tell me that there's anything that i need i think it's just a shortcut i'll go back to the red door um wait it doesn't say that you have to do the slide no, it just says, instead of going back to the red door, jump down the slide. Once you complete the slide, you'll be dumped into the pool at the center of the lobby. Swim up again and go through the yellow door for a second time. Now, if you're... Yeah. Now, if you followed what I said earlier about pressing all the blue buttons, then you'll have an ascending staircase up to the top platform. Previously unreachable. Get that last hourglass piece from up there. This okay. is going to be a pain in the butt, but you need to work your way back to that red door you saw before going right. down the water slide. So you need to get back to that room with the floating platform. Oh, because so that's where the, the exit is. The, the exit and is behind the red, the red door. And the red door is where the exit is. So I think oh, you have to do this. Well, you don't have fuck. to do this slide, I guess. But... Um, yeah, maybe I'll... Well, if you don't do the slide, you do have to go through that fucked up room with the four platforms. Oh, yeah, again, no, fuck so. that. But I, I have to do that anyways to get to the red door. <laughs> oh, no! I have well, to would you rather anyway. go through it once or yeah, twice? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try the slide. Damn. Oh, come on. That's so fucked. Oh. Maybe I could farm some health in here. Okay. Off to a great start. Good start. Yes. I also love these old games where you just constantly have a nebulous amount of health. Like, no need to just say you have three hits. You just have, like, you like have eight tenths of a heart. <laughs> yeah. Whatever that is. Come on. Don't be scared. They spawn like crazy when you're not looking, but... Okay. Why does everything more. in this world want to hurt Rascal? He's probably skipping school or some shit to do this. Oh, come on! They just stopped dropping anything. Maybe they have like a protection against farming. Oh, uh, well, they poison. definitely don't have a protection against dropping those. One more heart, please. Oh my goodness. Oh, awesome. Unfortunate. Oh. All right, I'll take it. It's not a full heart, but I'll take it. Okay. Oh God. Oh no. I can't no. see. I can't oh, see what's in front no. of me. Oh. Oh no! I can't see. Uh, this is this is. This oh is okay. Awful. Oh. This is oh. sickening. Oh no! Did they pull this shit in Donkey Kong sixty four too, where it's just like they expect you to psychically know what's around corners? Oh thank God, that wasn't as hard as the Aztec Temple one. Please, no, no jellyfish at the top. Don't hit me. Okay, uh, I have to take uh, oh, the middle door. I gotta get through this without falling. Well, you have two so lives. Wait, so wait, there's no. Oh my god, wait, they're floating and moving still. <laughs> no! Oh, wait, oh, they stop. Go, uh, when are they, are they gonna start back up again? I don't trust this game. 
Oh, wait. Okay, it seems like they're not gonna start moving. Oh, at least I have two lives. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. We're good. We're okay. So there is there no point to that red switch? I've never touched it. I'm gonna guess what the red switch like resets all the platforms in case you end up on that side and you can't oh, get maybe. back over. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh my god, full hourglass. Okay. It would be fucked up, but what if I couldn't get through that red door without that switch? That would probably make me cry. That would be pretty fucked up, but at that point you can blame the guy writing the guide. Oh yeah. Okay. All now right. we begin the journey. All you have to journey. do is make it back to that red door and you're done. Yeah. Well, maybe. I don't know what's past that. Maybe there's like, what if that's just like half the level? No way. Nah, this game, I have faith. You it go never... through that red door and it's just a bunch of floating platforms over water that will just instantly kill you. They never do me like that. I'm just breezing through. Go, go. Oh, God. Oh. Alrighty. Round two. Alrighty. Yes! What the hell? Oh, what come on. That was oh, what? Oh. I'm gonna fucking... Whoa. Oh. Alright, maybe don't jump off that fucking first one Sony until headquarters. the done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna jump till... Yeah, just... Just stay right there. I was about to cut a promo on Sony. Not their <laughs> fault. It's Psygnosis. Which I, I think they've closed for a long time. I would hope so. After this... After this disaster. Oh. I gotta do this fast. Okay, okay, yes! All right. What the fuck? Careful now. Careful. What the fuck? You're in the chess room. What the fuck? What's happening? I'd love to be able to see. Nope. Is the guy is the guide any help? Uh yeah, let me look at that Maybe before I jump in. Through. This time go through uh maneuver past the chess pieces and you're home free. Okay. Um Okay. <laughs> That really, is not odd, how really odd, really odd challenge yeah, there, a, but I'll take it. I'll take it, baby. What a climax to the level. <laughs> Fuck yeah. But hey, there you go. One level down. That's Atlantis past. Now I have to do Atlantis present. Oh. You got the green key. Yep. You should save. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Saving with my zero lives. At least I'm at full health. That is rough. The zero lives is a bummer. But yeah, it just means if I die, it's game over. Although, usually the level will have will have one, like easily accessible extra life. Uh, I'm gonna save over. I'm gonna save a new one. I also love. I love memory cards in this era where they did. They would never say megabytes or kilobytes. It's always a block or a. Yeah. You have one. This save will take up one block. All right. Well, let me see what this guy wrote at the end. Jump through the time bubble. Congratulations! You just beat a level that technically took me five years to beat. <laughs> Congratulations! Damn! I beat a level that took five years for this guy to beat. I beat it in 
about 45 minutes maybe that was probably around 45 minutes atlantis present it doesn't okay so i guess the green door brings me to atlantis present i think the green door is downstairs that makes sense yeah Damn, he got all this shit in his house? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, are we? Are we where we're, are we where we're supposed to be? Ship passed. Okay, we're not in the safe in the right level. Uh well, I don't know. Maybe oh, that's like... the next world. So I don't know. Okay, so what? I think I have to jump back into the time bubble to get Atlantis present. So where do you? What do you get for doing? I'm the not. Present quite, I'm not quite sure. Like what? What is the goal? Like what are you even doing in this game? I, I can't tell. I don't know how this game's progression works. Like, like you keep getting keys, which get you more levels. So like, I assume you're working your way towards some final level right but yeah sadly this guy doesn't really mention uh the stuff you get from beating the levels it's just the levels it's it's not like you're you aren't collecting stars or anything hmm well i don't think there's any going back in this level so i i'll play through it well certainly you'd have to beat it at some point anyway Oh, I love how the entire level is rocking back and forth. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a fun gimmick. <laughs> oh, there's a glowing barrel. What is that what? thing? What? Oh it's, a, oh, it's the back of a parrot. I thought that was an alien. Well, I shot that barrel and it vanished. I don't think I could kill this crab. Oh my god, it is! What is happening? I cannot tell what's happening what is going right now. On? This is the most claustrophobic. <laughs> like, it's insane how close you are to the camera. Yeah, I, I no think you gotta idea leave that crap alone. There was a glowing barrel that I shot three times and it just disappeared. Oh, there it is. What is... Oh. Those might be explosive. It yeah. hurt me. Who's yeah. this? Damn! <laughs> Everything <laughs> hates you in this game. <laughs> well, run it back. Yeah, I'll see if I can jump into Atlantis, Atlantis present. Now that I know the level should be easier-ish. I don't know. It's looking like, looking like a, a, a short-ish level. Uh, the ship levels aren't too crazy, it seems. They look pretty short. Levels make me want a rascal Ralph. Yeah, a very interesting choice for them to make. The there's no way the save numbers pro mean nothing. How do we go from level zero three o two to level zero four o three? There you go. I what should happened? be back. I was I, I my shit dropped for a little bit. Oh. I, I think the I disconnect. The I, I think the disconnect protection protection helped me. Is everything good with the audio in the chat? Are we all? Is it like nothing happened? I know whenever that happens, I always had issues with like the audio would drop out and then like would never come back up. Okay, we'll I'll just continue then. Don't know what that was about.
Maybe All a right. child is going into your past and upsetting your future. <laughs> They're like, please, you cannot finish this game. No one is supposed to finish this game. Uh, oh, yes. You don't want to know what's at the end of this game. So, okay, no, don't want to go in there. So I'm assuming if I just jump right. back into the Atlantis bubble, I should be in Atlantis present. Uh, so these are one-time play levels. Yeah, yeah, I don't think you can't go back. You can't go back to the past. Not it's not AVGN. I must. Is it M Dicky? No, I think M Dicky would probably boost my internet. Oh, it's fully underwater now. Oh great. This music's Fun. nice though. Oh wait, why how do I have oxygen? Oh my god, it's a fully underwater level and I have to get, refill my oxygen. <laughs> oh no! You're on a timer now. That's fucked up. Well, I'm just gonna go, pause go, then. Go. I'm gonna pause and look for uh, look at the guide here. The whole level is flooded this time around. Quickly turn around from where you start and go through the door outside. You will see a plot with different colored squares on the ground. Oops, wrong door. Is it this one? No, it was... Well, at least I don't have to worry about falling. That's true. Which is uh, def. I'll take that. Oops. I think this is the door that I was. Supposed to uh, nope. It was. Wait, I think that is the door. Oh yes, right? it is. It said this should put me outside. I wonder if it's going to be underwater or not. Oh yeah, the whole the oh, whole thing. Well, yeah, oh, I mean, you're in Atlantis, Atlantis right? Yeah. All right, so there's colors is this here. A puzzle. Let's see. The object to this puzzle is, puzzle is to push the pillar down and then over to any colored square to open the corresponding gate on the mountain in front of it. Oh, no. Notice the mountain with the colored cages. Simply push the pillar that's down on the ground into the yellow slot to get the top left hourglass piece. Where's this mountain that you speak of? I think it's, is it behind you? Is that what it's saying? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I see. Oh, damn, now this is really making me think of Donkey Kong 64. Uh, awesome that there's no Five air... Five multicolored no, things right next to each other? There's no air bubbles. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I have to go back inside to breathe my air. Awesome. I like this music, though. Damn it. Oh, my gosh. They put one just, like, right above the loading zone. I think you gotta go for the other ones. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna die. No, rascal, you fucking invent. Okay. Whew. I was gonna get pissed. All right. Oh, shit. All right, I gotta, there's a pillar somewhere that I have to push. It's it's that uh it's next to the colors. You oh, see I it see in the back it. I see there. it. That's a very short pillar. <laughs> oh god. What? Oh dear god. This we'll have game to go back inside so to mean. breathe. It's so <laughs> mean. Just evil. At least the water bubble, the air bubbles respawn. They were kind enough to do that. And they do refill it completely. I'd love to interview someone who like worked on this game and be like, did, did anyone did ever finish it? this game in testing? Like, did you, I'm guessing they didn't play test it at all. They just did QA testing. But yeah, they probably probably it, testing it like individual levels, not playing through the yeah. whole game. Did anyone on the team ever like sit down and play through this entire game, front to back? Fuck. Okay. Oh oh oh. Oh, and to get air, it re it fucking resets the pillar yeah. when I go inside to get air. Oh you gotta do God. it all in one go. Oh. My goodness! I'm cutting it close. You just die instantly if you run out of air. I would. I would assume so. 
I, I was maybe it's like the kind of thing where you run out of air and then you start losing life or something. Okay, I gotta do this one shot real quick. Oh fuck. Fuck, you need momentum to push it. That that's what that's what messes it up. Wait, is is the guy who runs Game Hut, he made this game? Is that true? I, I know that even, YouTube I channel. I don't know what game hood is. It's just like a channel where the guy who worked. You... Oh my god! I thought he, I thought he worked for Traveler's Tales. They made this. Oh, well then, yeah, it probably is that guy. That's really funny. I like that guy's YouTube channel. It's very informative. Fucked up, man. Well, sorry, John. Your game is pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good one. I wouldn't call it bad, I would call it mean. It's a mean game. This is- It, oh. is, it is definitely mean. It's, it's spiteful. Mean. It, yeah. It's spiteful in a way that other games are not. It's a malicious game. Like, I have to fight so hard to push this stupid little pillar. Before I run out of air. Okay. Fuck. Oh, well, I might as well get whatever that is. That's a key. Oh, well, I'll take that's it. a key. So it looks like you would have had to do that eventually anyway. Yeah. I wonder if it'll make you do all of these. Probably. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, yellow gives me an hourglass piece. Oh. <gasps> I'm just deciding to not put an air bubble in this room oh. is insane. Oh. It's actually crazy. Jesus. There's one air bubble in the room and you have to open the white switch to get to it. Okay. Oh god, don't put it in green. I want yellow. No! You still got this. Oh! No! I put it <laughs> back! back. Oh. Okay, well, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna take one, a gander at what, what's here. There's an enemy it's, behind one of those. There's Fucking an enemy evil. In the green one. Fucked up. Cool. number like six oh. okay I wonder maybe if I position myself like in the oh okay that's easier there we go you just have to tap it directly in the middle all right grab that run Boom. the fuck back in one sixth of the level completed. Yep. All right, I'm pausing. Uh, oops, might as well look at this. Atlantis present. Um. Okay, get the hourglass, please. Then get the red slot to get the red key. Finally, open the blue cage to get the tile piece. This part can take. Quite a while, so if you have, if you need air, simply swim back up to the lobby and grab an air bubble up there. However, please keep in mind that the pillar resets the first position once you leave the area. 
Um, once you've gotten both items, swim back up to the lobby. So I need to get the blue. There's a tile piece, whatever the tile is. Mm, great. This game, doesn't really, this game doesn't really introduce other collectibles, so I don't know what they mean by tile piece. It must be some... Let me double check. Was that blue? Uh, yeah. Okay. I've got the technique now. You just have to... Hey, you're a, little, a pro at this point. A little tap. the fuck is that? What is that? Okay. <laughs> what is that? No. <laughs> it's like the fucking Nintendo coin. Yeah, that's exactly that's exactly the same thing. It plays a new sound, new collectible you've never seen, and they do not tell you anything about it. Yeah. Nintendo Nintendo coin acquired. Once in the lobby, swim down into the hole, get the yellow key at the bottom in front of you, then grab the piece of tile with the pattern on it. That's to the left, in an alcove sort of thing. Swim back up and through the center green door at the bottom of the room. Okay. So I gotta go in here. Oh, uh, 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 can't see. All right. Of course, that hurt me. Tile piece. The mysterious tile piece. Got that key. Yellow key. Grabbed air. Threading the needle here. This is all intensified by the fact that I do have no lives left. So if I die, I have to restart that entire segment over again. Yeah. Uh, I think they just have to go through this door. Let me double check. Uh, all right. One mission two staircases. Swim to the other side of this room and grab the bottom left hourglass key and go through the door ahead. You're now outside. All right. Oh, there it is. Don't tell me the mermaid wants to kill you, too. Probably. Can't trust. Can't trust anyone in this world. Rascal is, uh... Oh, awesome. Did I just take a damn? Wow. wow. Okay. I don't think I took a hit, thankfully, but... Oh, a tile. That guy definitely wants to kill that you. Guy, yeah, that guy tried was, it. He's that guy, after you. He's trying to fuck me up. Whoa. He wants to kill you badly. Oh god, camera. Okay. Getting back in. Not bad, only need three more hourglass pieces. Are um, you zooming it, now? Yeah, I'm glad I don't have to ju like jump over any holes. Uh, it's not what you want to say about a platformer. Once in the lobby... Swim down in the hole. Okay, did that. Da -da 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 -da. Um, now swim all the way back to the main lobby. Where you started at, go up either side of the staircases. Once up here, go over to the yellow shell behind the stairwell banister. Okay. There it is. Right. Yellow door unlocked. Don't know if that's yellow or green. Um, the yellow door behind it, it's yellowish green. Okay, yeah. In this small room are mines, a guard, and the blue key. Grab it off the podium and head back out the door and through the dark green door across. Don't have to fuck up the guard, I guess. Oh god, yep, instantly take a hit. Got that, got all three keys now. Full access. Alright. 
uh, grab the blue key off the podium, grab it off the podium, head back out to the door, the dark green door across from you, sw swim to the northwest side of this book room and get the top right hourglass key. Okay, so it seems that most of the hourglass key, uh, hourglass pieces are where they were in the past. Uh, or not. That's actually, that wasn't there before. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 Look out, look for a hole in the ceiling of this book room and swim up through it. Next, look for a rip out hole in a picture. I need an air bubble. Please. Yes. Now I'm looking for a hole in a picture. Oh, 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 oh. All right, this is a room. Prepare myself before I do this. And so throw it in this big room, swim down to the blue shell, touch it, this will unlock the blue door across the room, which we now need to proceed through. Okay, this seems like we're, this, this is, I think this will be over pretty quick. Oh, oh. a nasty enemy next apparently I like that blue so he says in here watch out for the pitchfork wielding Delphinus he's very nasty first grab the bottom right hourglass piece in the right corner then turn around and hit the switch on the left to open a staircase in the middle of the room swim down into it grab the extra light <gasps> an extra life would make Ooh. my night there's the nasty guy. We're almost done. Yeah, this level seems pretty short. Yeah, just that first oh, God. pushing thing sucked. Yes. Nice. Just a little bit of insurance. Oh, yes. Um, if I get to save with that, that's just valuable currency. Uh, shall I finally go through the door to get to get, go through the door and into a room with red carpeting all around. I'm gonna grab the, the air and I'm gonna grab, I think there was health somewhere. I think you might've grabbed it already. Maybe. Or did you? Fuck it. Don't seem to have to fight anyone. Oh God, this room. Oh, oh my God. Whoa! Oh no. Oh. Jump scare. <laughs> Do I risk it all for a heart piece? Let me see if I I'm gonna know. need that. Let me see if I'm gonna need that. Uh <laughs> finally go through the door to get the heck out of this room. So now be in a tank of water, swim up through one of the squares at the top. You're now out of the water. Go through the door and into a room with red carpeting all around. Shoot the guard to get the bottom hourglass piece. Go up to the red shell. Um Seems like you're almost done. Actually, that might not kill me because wasn't I just in that water? Wouldn't I just fall back in? Yeah. It but is green do you really now, trust though. Like that? No. Ugh. It would be really funny if it just <laughs> killed you for no reason. I can't believe you were swimming in that stuff. That looks real dirty. Yeah, I don't know what... What happened That's that what's water. gonna get tetanus. Okay, okay, okay. Don't know if I'm shooting him, because I can't see. Yeah. Unfortunate. Oh, wait. Okay. Easy. <laughs> awesome. Nice. I'll take it. That makes me happy. Bam. Not, you must have already. I've already put done it, in. it. Okay. Oh, there's a tile. Apparently, that might be the last tile. 
Uh, let me so check. I guess you need the tile to exit the level? It must be, right? No clue. Lock the red door and go through it. This part is a dead, but you still need to grab the tile piece next to the piano. Grab it, then head back up until the room above the book room. The room I'm talking about has the blocked door and the picture with the hole in it. On the wall adjacent to the picture is a glimmering thing on the wall. Brush up against it and lay your four tiles down. Next, head all the way back up to the lobby. Swim down in the hole and in the middle of the lobby. This time, look for the cage. So I have so I have to go back somehow? You have, you have to, like, retrace your steps through the entire level. How do basically. I go back? I, I, I sort of got to fight. have to jump down into the water. If I jump in there and it hurts me, I'm going to be so mad. I don't understand There's what no way. else I'm supposed to do. They did say just head back up. Yeah, I, I think you have to. Head back up until the room above the book room. Well, only one way to find out. Rascal really, really t makes you test your ability to trust in this game. They're like, <laughs> you know we've done you dirty so many times, but this is the way to go. Are you going to jump in the green slime for us? You do it for us. Oh. Uh. Something must be wrong. I think you mm. ha I think you gotta jump in the slime. <laughs> I love that this is such a let's consult the map. You have to. Like, there's yeah, there's no, there's no other way. There's no other way. Alright. Trust fall. Three, two, one, fuck it. Alright. Wow! It's not <laughs> starting oh, right on, on top of the ball. <laughs> no big deal, though. This game rewards your ability to trust it with pain. Definitely a toxic game. Um, Making a call out post for Rascal. <laughs> Rascal on PS1 is manipulative. Um, where do we uh, head back to that? Picture hole. I'll find my way back there. Oh, this is blocked. Right. Which means so that it has to be. Oh, that's where the hole was, which means. Wait, they all have holes. Oh. Uh, well, there's a heart there. Music just um, makes me think of, like, who wants to be a millionaire or something. Yeah. Um. I said something about something shining and you have to rub up against it. Let me read that. Um. Swim down into the... The blocked door and the picture with the hole in it. Head back up. Uh, yeah, I probably just have to go into one of those things, but don't seem to do unless it's at the, in the ceiling. Nope. What the, what the fuck do I do? Are you still enjoying Rascal? A little I'll bit. I'll consult the video. Yeah, unless I shoot the doorway. This person just completely glossed over this part in the... Well, I can't actually attack anything. So... What the hell? Unless I'm not supposed to go this the, the, into this room. God, oh god, oh god, I didn't mean to collect those two. Oh, wow. It's, okay, it, it is the other room with the blocked door. It's, like, practically invisible where you're supposed to go. So, go into this room, and then go towards the blocked door, and it's, like... Oh, I see it. Behind this yeah. pillar. Yeah, like, up here, you see it? It's, like, up. fucking invisible. 
fucked up. All right, and I'm, I think this is where I have to build the picture. Yeah. And now I have to go all the way back. And I that think. did everything. <laughs> that... Oh no, wait, it's right. You have to keep going back, right? You yeah, have I have to... to go all the way back to the lobby. Go I think. All the way back. Which I'm struggling to remember how I did that. It did um. You went through like a hole in the oh, God. floor. Oh, there it is. Thank God. That's great. Oh, That's yeah, great that the game just doesn't most, even tell you what you game. did. Bebo, Bebo, nope. So spins too fast. So spins too fast. So spins too fast. Then I have to go down the stair. Well, oh my God, hearts, hearts for days. Loving it. Uh, and I think I have to go through here, and then the, there will be like a cage. Yeah. I remember, I remember seeing I remember a cage. I remember seeing that. Yeah. Go in. Oh, okay. I just have to do this till I see it. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Behind me. Oh. Oh, I think that's it. Oh god, oh my god, oh, an underwater no. slide! Oh, the Are you gauntlet. kidding me? Are you the kidding gauntlet. me? That's so At least so you're not fun. losing air. Oh, you are losing I air. I am losing Never air. Because there's bubbles that I have to collect. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm losing it slowly, though. Okay, I mean, I think I... Oh, no, I'm not going to say shit. Oh, please, God. This is insane. I thought this was bad going the other direction. Somehow this is worse. Oh, I missed the fucking heart. Oh, you missed the oh, heart too. Oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. Oh, I'm, so Very careful. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Be careful. There's a risk. That's oh, be careful. There's a dude right there. Careful, he might have dropped a kill you. I know, I, power up. I don't want that shit. I love that there's no camera control. You just I can't cannot see. see. There's oh, no there's something way shaking. To know. Oh. A uh, heart. Oh, God, it gives you like nothing, dude. Oh, okay. I think, it's, oh, that's I it. think we're good. That's it, right? Oh, what's, that's a secret, though. We need to go up there. I, I, uh, Ugh, you know? No, I'm too scared. I'm leaving. Well, I wonder what that would have been. I bet that would have just like put you back a hundred years in a level. Like, it would have just like undone your progress. All right. I'm gonna save. Even though well, I have I'm two life. hits, I gained a life, but I'm two hits away from death. So. Yeah. Kind of. At least it won't be game over the next time I die. Alright. So that's Atlantis. I don't know what that did for me. I don't know if I even had to do that. Yeah, I mean the... Oh, I think if I jump in one more time, it's the boss. Oh. But I don't okay. know. I also don't know. I don't think I've beaten any of the bosses in this game. I think I've just kept going. So I don't know if it's well, necessary or not. You? I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think I've ever beaten a boss in this game. They've always been too hard. Uh, was it here? I think it was here. It looks yeah. different-ish. This was the one. Oh shit, what the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh, that's the guy, the, the game over screen. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bad guy. Kronon is a bit tougher this time around. Run around him as usual, I go counterclockwise. As his shield is lowered, you want to attack him once as usual, only being sure to take off instantly or you'll be hit by one of his flying saucers. If you come in for the hit too early, then the ones that are following you might hit you. 
So you just run around until his shield goes down, and then you yeah, shoot him. You shoot him. Um, but I think what they, I think they want me to do that while never stopping moving, which is the fucked up part. Also, can't really s keep an eye on his shields. Oh, I, th I think I see. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at what one hit did to his health. Did oh it do anything? God. It did. It, I got like a 2% off of his heart. No way. Get real. Yeah, that's each hit oh takes off gosh, like you gotta shoot him a 15. 30 times. And like, I can't stop because his shield only goes down to attack. This is so fucked up. Nobody played this game. Having to run circles around him using the D-pad is also like making my fingers hurt. Oh my god. This is it, we found it. This is the this worst gotta be, game. <laughs> this this gotta might be actually a, be the worst game. There's gotta be a better way to beat this guy. There's no way. Maybe you can like stand behind something. Yeah, maybe there's something to cheese. I think running around him is a terrible idea. Because I have to stop running and then turn and then shoot him. I'll have to find or a way to you cheese can, like, him. Try and jump over the the shields or whatever. Maybe. I'm going clockwise instead of counterclockwise. Oh, true. Don't think that affects it that much, though. Maybe. I'll try and cheese him this time. I'll try and find, like, something to hide behind. Shirley's got some cheese that'll break them. That's the thing also, is they seem to take into account trying to game the system in Rascal, so I feel like, I don't know, there's gotta be some way to cheese them. This game has perfect code. <laughs> I'm just gonna run somewhere. Oh, it seems that they go through obstacles, so. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely no hiding because they will go around and- Boomeranged on. Yeah, they'll boomerang on you. So thank you, Doc Cool, for the prime soup. Oh my god. Counterclockwise seems a bit risky. Yeah. Um, oh no, it's definitely watching better. Watching a video of it, it really looks like all you can really do is run and then jump, try and jump over them. Oh my goodness. They boomerang back. Oh my god. I don't that have the time. time. It's time such that time. he always attacks when his shields go down. Oh, yeah. So. I don't have the time to, you know, to attack. Oh, my God. This might be impossible. I might not be able to do this. What if I, like, hide here? That's a... Oh. Well, all right. I mean, it's a safe spot. I'm not sure you can make progress, though. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Maybe just a little further? Damn. Oh. Fuck! You idiot, shoot! Oh my god. What the fuck? What? Yeah, it looks like just the collision. What? It looks like oh, they may have accounted for what you're trying to do specifically. Oh my god, they knew! 
That's yo, okay, evil. This game's fucking evil. Like I'll just say it. Coded from evil. That's so fucked up that they accounted for that. Like let me just test it out. So Like this game was made to make kids cry. Or bite their controllers. So I could shoot him from here. It seems that this side is not safe. Yeah, they just go through the obstacles. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that <laughs> side... Has died. <laughs> that side uh, is not an option. The other side protects us. However, it seems they put an invisible wall so you can't shoot from behind it. Huh. Truly a conundrum. Well, the good news is you could just not do the boss now and have to do it later. I'm kind of convinced I don't have to do it at all. I don't know what it'll do for me. That's true. I mean, we haven't figured out. I didn't beat the bosses the from the other is. levels. Yeah, beating beating the level once just seems to unlock the next one. So, yeah. Can I walk through the invisible wall and retreat behind it? Yeah, I could test. I'm going to test it out one more time. That might be a good way to deal with that. Oh, my God. Didn't Wait, load did I not... save. Oh, fuck. I forgot. I was like, this is so buggier awesome. than usual. What a great, what a great system. Yeah, that's the one thing. They made it very immersive. You have to physically go into the room to sit to load your save, but then... I think there's a reason why no other games do that. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try advancing past. Oh, not through there. Going out of the invisible wall and then ducking back. Though I don't know how effective that's gonna be if I can only shoot him when his shields are down, which is also when he attacks. So we'll have to play around with that. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. So we're safe here. That is established. I'm gonna try and do this. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Alright. That's working. Oh my god, I think I have a way to beat this guy. Yo, the cheese. The it's cheese gonna take forever, strat. but I don't know how else yeah, to do it. Yeah, they gave it too much health. I'm gonna have to venture also, out to get to ammo. you refill your gun. Which is ridiculous. But at least you found a safe spot. The fact that it only but, gives you, like, three shots per power-up, to is insane. Yeah, I don't know how... Oh, there's more ammo over there. Certainly they respawn, right? Like, how else would it be possible? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <gasps> Ooh, okay. careful. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to- what? Wait. Yeah, I'm like already out of ammo. Three shots. Maybe... I don't know. 
It has oh, wait. to respawn. There's no way. I think way. I'm still able to shoot. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, my God. Dude, 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 dude. Okay. You could really only shoot once per cycle. Yeah, that's what the guide said. Uh, wow. So, wait. I'm fucked. I have no oh, yeah. more how do you, I have no you more not, ammo. Is there... How do you win? That can't be right. I think I just really have to carefully plan out my shots. It can't be. That's the most insane thing ever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's no ammo. Uh, Beamed you. Maybe if I... Wow, and it puts me back in with like two shots in my gun. Wait, and everything the has everything. Don't respawn? <laughs> this can't be fuck? real. You've got to no, be kidding me. I can't. I actually. What? This is like the most evil game of all time. That's crazy. That's wild that if you die, the power ups don't respawn. That's like. I'm glad I found the cheese method, though. I'm going to have to. You're gonna have to just be really careful. Unless there's a way in the hub world to refill your... I've never actually looked that hard. I don't think there is, but maybe there's like a secret. Or like a level that you could get in and out of really fast. But I don't think there are any. Because everything resets. There's gotta be. Oops. Forgot X. Let's quit. Okay, I'm gonna like maybe explore a little bit, see if I can, at least I have, I do have relatively full ammo. So I, if I really was like, cause I was shooting like three shots per cycle. I, I was trying to like pepper him, but I do think uh, I should be able to do it. I have nearly full ammo here. Stuart Little, Bugs Life, why is he here? We've played those games on stream. We played through Stuart, Stuart Little 2, we played through Bugs Life. Not the whole game, but we've done Bugs Life at least twice. All right, need to run and take cover immediately. All right. There we go. I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to ding him. For the tiniest health. I missed. One hit. Oh my god. It's gonna take forever. Two. Yeah, at this point, this is just a war of attrition. Oh yeah. Three. Four. Oh, it looks like he probably dies in 10 hits. 10 ish. Uh, like 12 or something. More like 15 oh, yeah. to me. I gotta tell this guy to upgate, uh, update his uh, game facts guide. I got the, the yeah, best strategy. Oh, I got the ultimate strategy against Corn in the 20 Atlantis years. World. 20 years after you wrote this guide, I messaged up being like, hey, I got a way to beat Kronos. And... Uh oh. Got a little lazy there. I'm 
I'm gonna have to run out and get ammo. The fact that there's oh, wait, like... Oh, I'm still hitting him. Oh, you got this. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, I have no more. Oh. Or does it just shoot out like a weaker version or something? I don't know. I'm, I tried and it didn't... It's not doing anything anymore. It looks anymore, like it might just think. be a weaker version or something. You, you should just pick up the ammo, probably. Got him. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yep. You have fun. No, you don't even get like a cutscene. <laughs> nothing. You get nothing. Not a collectible. Just, not a cutscene. And now I have no ammo or health. Did anything? Nope. <laughs> not even a life. Moving on. Uh, yeah. Except now I have. I'm literally a hit from death, and I have no ammo. So. I'm going to save over a different save. Now I have to do... Oh, God. The Jolly Raider pirate ship. The first sentence in the guide says, These levels are tough for two reasons. First being that the areas are tight space, so moving around can be difficult when an enemy blocks your path. The second reason is there's so much stuff going on in the levels that there's lots of obstacles that could hurt you. Okay. Granted, they do seem relatively short. The text is shorter than the Atlantis levels. So... And we're not even, we're about, we're about halfway through the game. Looking actually, it, up, it seems like there's five worlds. Yeah, actually we are, this is the before last world. There's the sunken ship and then there's like a, a city, an old west city that becomes Hollywood okay. at the end. And then I think we're halfway there. Then after that, it's the corridors of time. Which is like a hub where I think you have to do a boss rush. Oh, great. Something like that. Oh, no, the only... It, it becomes... Your house becomes the corridors of time. And instead of going into levels, you go directly into boss levels. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. These guys, like most bosses in the game, are easy enough. I don't know what bosses this guy was fight. There's no way I could have ran circles around that guy and shot him without that cheese method. There's no way. I don't and know. I forgot the backstory of this game was that it didn't have tank controls, and then they made them change it to tank yeah. controls because Tomb Raider was popular. Yeah, that that is like the it's saddest so part funny. of Rascal. Is it wasn't supposed to be like this, and you could tell when you no, played it. Why it was like, oh well, Tomb Raider did well. You gotta change it to be tank controls. <laughs> yep. Uh, I think I need to go to the green door. Yeah, is there any reason to beat the present version of the levels? I if it gives you the key. Let me see. I think you need to beat all the bosses to get to the last oh, level, is, yeah. what, is what I'm seeing. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, well... Just to shoot the bird for an hourglass piece. Alright. Easy enough. A heart here. Alright, now I'm gonna take a break on this barrel and read. Do the literature. At least we get to we get to enjoy the the model, the rascal model up close and personal. 
Look at him, he's tapping his leg. That kid must be stressed. It's a stressful life. Um, shoot the bird a few times in the bottom to get the bottom right hourglass piece. Got it. And go through the only door in this room. Be careful not to touch the crabs and the shimmering barrels. Okay, so the shimmering barrels are a distraction. Uh, <laughs> be careful not to touch the crabs and the shimmering barrels in this room, for they can only harm you. Go through the next door. Go to the top of the room and shoot the crack in the wall and enter this room for an extra life and a heart. Okay. Oh, there's, there's rats, too. Some rascal rats. Uh, do I shoot? I guess I don't shoot this bird. I didn't mention that. Oh my god, yeah, the barrels, like, will randomly spawn. That's the bit. Uh, okay, I have to shoot that. Oh god. I gotta shoot that crack. There's a blue door there. Gotta remember, remember that. Okay, is this a safe room? Could it just be safe for me? Oh my god. Whoa! This game actually did something about trying to fuck you up. Well, that's, that's because weird. this is what I believe they call this, uh, like, love smothering, you know, like... <laughs> Oh, they're love bombing they me. Do, they do a lot of bad stuff, and then you say that you're gonna leave them, and they're like, "No, no, no, baby, don't leave. Look, I, I have lives. I have ammo. I got health. Look, it's. I'm, I'm gonna change. I promise. I'm gonna change. Look, it's fine. I was just, I, I was just, you know, I was. Just, I, look, I'll, I'll give you an extra life and a heart, and I won't put any dangers in the room. Now, will you stay? This really is the complete parallel to like those toxic relationship. And then, and then after after you're like, all right, fine. I, I think maybe this time they're really going to change. It's like, ah, oh, here's exploding barrels. Here's a bunch of mermaids. <laughs> Look out, it's pirates. There's a pirate that's going to kill you. Disappearing barrels. <laughs> oh, we're going to spawn enemies right on top of your ass. Do I have to kill that guy? Let's see. Uh, go back out and to the right where you came in. To the wooden door in this room, you will see three crabs lined up in front of you. Kill all of them and get... The bottom left hourglass piece from the one in the middle. Turn around and grab the yellow key in this room. Oh my god, how do I kill them? These are the crabs I couldn't kill. Oh my god, what? What's that? Oh, a key. An actual key. Oh, do I just shoot them? Okay, I just shoot them. Maybe? No. Oh, I do. They just take a lot of fucking hits. Can you give me a heart? Nope. Okay. Too much to ask for. Um. Oh, maybe I could farm health from the rats. Good. That's good. You know, real beautiful... A real beautiful double feature of having played Gloomy Galleon followed up by this level. Yeah, oh, you're kind of no. stuck in the water levels right now. It's rough. I just lost all the... what I gained from mining these rats. I do like how the rats look. They're cute. Pretty fun. This does seem to be the safest room in the game, or at least in this level, so... Keep doing this. Give me a health, please. Please, 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 
please. Yes. This game gives me everything I want. Oh no. Yes. Yes. How could I have ever thought this game would hurt me? It's giving me everything. Please drop a heart. Yes. No. Okay, I got it. I'll take one more and then I'll leave. God, the poison. Yes! Oh, I need to leave right now. The big double. Yeah. That shit, this shit's better than the casino. Um, <laughs> Free to play, too. <laughs> Kill all of them bottomless hours. We'll turn around and grab the yellow key in this room, then proceed to the door opposite to where you came in at. In this narrow hallway that you're in, first jump over the cannon and shoot the pirate in the yellow shirt. Did I? Oh, okay, yes. Can I shoot him without getting close? Yes. Oh, fuck, well, there's a barrel there. Oh, stupid. I bet those were supposed to explode, but they just couldn't pull that off. <laughs> those have to be exploding barrels. This would be a bit easier to farm. I guess I'll take it. Oh, it does say TNT on the barrel, so that is what they were trying to do. They tried. Uh, I keep going, it says. Continue through the door ahead, and this room is a blue key next to the steps. Grab it, and I head all the way back to where you shot the wall out. Awesome. Oh god, what the fuck? No! Oh. If this is gonna give me anything. This Probably is the greatest not. game that's ever been created. I don't think this shooting this bird is gonna do anything. Yeah. It's hard to even tell. I guess you're hitting him. Oh. Yeah, I know that when the when the orange bubbles appear, then then that means that it's a hit. Uh, I don't have the red key, so I have to go all the way back. Oh. Getting my health back, damn it. Oh, my God. Please drop health.
Thank you for the soup. 15 mots and I am going to get seasick. Yep. It's part of the rascal experience. All right. Uh, I should get one more. If you get one more, then I'll leave. here anyways. Shoot out all these barrels. Kill this guy. What is that? Oh, nothing. That gave me nothing. Uh. Okay, I can so I can hear I'm... just like the depression setting in <laughs> <laughs> when you talk. I'm getting like... into I'm getting into a rascal flow. I feel like I'm getting into a rascal flow. Uh. uh Jump over the fur. Okay, I'm in the, the, the room where I broke the wall. Okay, got that. Head all the way back to where you shot the wall out. Look to the left of the broken wall and you'll see a blue door go through it. And there's a room with a bunch of big crates. Jump over the first set of crates through the doorway. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, uh, what did I do to deserve that health? Oh, awesome. I have to go through some sort of doorway. Oh my goodness. This game is so nice to me. Don't fall into the trap, Scorpy. I might be able to finish Don't it. Let yourself get manipulated uh, by Rascal yet again. A rail of hearts and a red key and another heart! <gasps> My life is awesome. Anything behind here that I should be aware of? No. So I got the red key. I have all the keys and I need three more hourglass pieces. Uh, so, in uh, the big crates, jump over the crates, directly to the right, pick up the red key, jump over the crates at the north side of the room and go through the door, run over to the grate on the floor, and stand on it. It'll open up and you'll drop down to a lower level on the crate. This game may actually be good, I wouldn't go that far. Wouldn't go that far, but I would say it may be... <gasps> I forgot this is all TNT, holy shit. I guess shooting this bird isn't doing... Oh, well I killed it. Um, Does this potentially refill all my ammo? Yes it does, okay. Oh my god, another heart there. What am I what am I doing right? Uh, and I guess I have to go through this door. Oh. The duality of life right there. For every heart is a poison. Oh god. Oh, 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 
They can't get me on this pirate's table. Uh, run over the grate on the floor and stand on it. It'll open up and you'll drop down to a lower level. What about this? What about that pick? That pick looks important. Guess not. I guess I'd just have to do this. What? Is this not the great? Oh, uh, let me see here. Did I get? I might have missed an extra life. Jump over the grate to the floor. Open the door. Run over to the grate and or and stand on it. I think I missed something. Oh yes, this. This is where the extra life is. Ooh, will that hurt me? Probably. At the rate this is going, it probably is not only just going to hurt you, but delete your save file as well. <laughs> Uh, at least it's not too difficult. The platforms are mercifully big. Yeah, it's gonna give me an extra this life room. and a piece. Two thirds there. Yeah, and I have three lives. That's crazy. I've almost made back the lives that I started my fucking save out with, which is insane. Awesome. <laughs> it took me this long. I can only um, assume this means that whatever the next level is is going to be so soul crushingly depressing <laughs> that it will <laughs> it will make you want to smash the disc in half. Yeah, because they've been very kind to me in this level. Uh, I'm assuming I have to go back this way. Let me see. Work your way back to the first crate you drop down. Jump on the first ladder. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is supposed to be a ladder. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that's uh, one way to do it. Yeah. So I did that, got the extra life, got the piece. Yeah, jump across the box to the other side, grab the extra life, blah, 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 blah. Go through the yellow door. Shoot the parrot on the right and get the top right arc, so I have to kill that parrot. The days are numbered. Game facts told me to do this. Oh, I have to shoot that one. Wrong one. My bad. For nothing. There we go. Oh my god, one more hourglass piece. <sighs> uh, now head all the way back to the room where you shot a hole in the wall. Okay. You now need to go back to the right door, the wooden one. Oh my god, this game is being so nice to me. I'm full hearts and I'm three lives. That's wild. Never would have thought. Oh god, yeah. The rats. Okay. Go through there. It says for me to go through the right side door, the wooden one. Oh god. This one, maybe? Keep pushing forward until you get to the small room with the steps again. Walk up the steps to the red door and open it. Oh yes, I remember that door. I remember it. Greatly. Oh, come on.
Oh. Uh, I think I might have gone to the wrong room. Thank you, Mokamura, for the dono. Remember during DK64 when you called Rascal Charming? Lol. <laughs> Lamau. It is, it is. And I think it was just in particular, I think that uh, those Atlantis levels were probably the worst offenders. Um, seem to have gotten, gotten to the wrong room. Those were, those were, especially the beginning of the second Atlantis level was like, was really, really fucked up. Uh, where the fuck do I go? Keep pushing forward until you get to the small room with the steps again. I don't remember how I did that. I think I went through the wrong door. Oh, that one. Oh, God. That scared the shit out of me. I thought that was going to kill me. Fuck it. Uh, am I going the right way? Let me check the map. Oh, yeah. This doesn't tell me shit. What a great looking level. Yeah, this is, uh... There was a room with stairs in it. Don't remember where that was. The guide isn't helping, it just says you need to go back to the right side door, the wooden one. Every door is made of wood in this level. Mm. And it just says keep pushing forward until you get to the small room. I think it, I think it is... This way. Oh my god, the game's running at more than 15 FPS for once. Oh yes, it is here. Yeah. Oh god, don't kill me! <gasps> Inverted arrow! Alive. What? What? Okay. Two hours of rascal. Get me out of here. I no didn't way. do anything, just let me out. You're here uh, forever. Foo. I didn't do anything, just let me out. Get me out of here. Oh. Can you come down here? Why am I sliding down the stairs like that? I think I'm hitting him. And what if I just spam? It seems to be going through the floor. <laughs> I killed him! <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my god, we're at the top! Yes, the final piece! A heart. Oh my god, oh this is such a breath of fresh air. I love that it had to load me going down the steps. Well, I've got everything. Can I just fucking book it till the end? A heart. And ammo. Oh my god. I'm out. Wow, I didn't, didn't die once. My rascal skill is growing. That's great. I'm <laughs> proud of you. <laughs> that level was, was it, yeah, it was, I was expecting way worse. I will say, that still was not a good level. Was not great, but it wasn't mean. No, it wasn't mean, it was just really boring. It was, uh, I was enthralled by the kindness bestowed upon me in that level. Just constantly rocking back and forth in these tiny ass little rooms. And now I have three lives in my save. That's great. Oh, that's red. actually really good. Oh, you could go look at the next level if you wanted to. No. I'm gonna... Save it as a little treat. 
I actually can't wait for them. The last level is Hollywood. I'm very curious to see what that's like. Uh, oh, I think I went through the wrong door. All right. Sunken Wreck. This one seems similarly short-ish. Another water level. This might be the last water Great. level. Music seems good. Oh. I do need air, though. Hopefully there are no pillar puzzles in this one. Let's see. Okay, swim over into the hole in the rock wall with the heart in front of it. Get the top left hourglass piece and swim back out. Wow. No way is it that easy. I like this song. I don't feel like the music's that bad. Yeah, the music's been pretty consistently decent. Definitely not uh, the worst part of the game. Over the black hole in the ship and enter it. In here, go through the red door and grab the bottom left hourglass piece. Whoa, we're just swimming through this. I'm getting so many hearts. Go through the red door and grab the bottom left hourglass piece here. Oh, there's a shark. They were they're really nice to have a water <laughs> level where like the music isn't just like sad or scary. Yeah. It's not gloomy. It's no it's no gloomy galleons. Uh head back. Head back out through the red door, go through the wind door across from it. When you get in this room, you'll notice it's a really, it's really big and there's a lot of things going on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, am I in the right room? This doesn't seem that big. Uh, oh yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, I see an extra life just hanging out here. Four lives, I can't believe it. Got a yellow key. I can't believe I have four lives in this game. Uh, okay, where do I go, guide? Um, swim to your immediate right, get the extra life, get the yellow key behind the crates. As you're on the right side of this room, swim to the north side and through the door. I think that's this one. from that door is really oh, fuck I'm lost uh, don't know why I always press that expecting something because you're on the right side of this room and here are two doors that you go through from here one directly across the room in the center and one around the corner to the left go through the door in the center get the top right hourglass piece in the northeast northwest corner so I think that's this one. The tank controls might be better for underwater. It, it's definitely, honestly, I'm having an easier time. I think it's because, I think I went through the wrong door. I don't see any hourglass piece. Um, I think it's because, it's more because the environments are just rooms. So I don't have to do much aside from swim left or right. If we were doing some vertical stuff, it would have, I would, it would be rough. Uh, I'm back here, so actually it means I need to go directly across. Oopsie. I think it's this one. Oh, there it is. Oopsie.
All right. Uh, let's see here. It's okay. H head back out and through the door across to your right. Swim past the mines and through the door ahead. Across to my right is this one. I'll grab this heart. Go through this door. I'm in my rascal flow state. This guide is saving my life. I'm I'm glad I'm able to follow it. Six moths, yum, six I might even beat this protein. game on the street. I might even beat it. I guess it depends on how hard the chamber of time is or whatever. Uh oh. Uh so I got that. Only need two more hourglass pieces. Um Swim across uh, through the door. Finally, swim through this third hallway and into the room. Swim up and get the bottom right hourglass piece. Next, swim all the way back to the big room with a lot of things in it. Uh, if you don't remember how to get back, simply follow backtrack through the three hallways. Yeah, I mean, I'd have nowhere else to go, I don't think. Oh, God. Yeah, this, this room is a bit rough. The camera's a bit rough in this room. It's very kind of them to make the air bubbles respawn. I don't know if that heart respawned too, but... Treating me good here. Yeah, I think it's, it's this one? Could have just said the room with the shark in it. Big room, big room with a lot of things. Once in this room, again, look at the center where a pile of crates is. Look closely, you'll see a hole in the floor or ceiling. Well, there's no pile of crates, so... Wrong room. Rascal was designed by Jim Henson? How, who told you that? I don't really believe that. <laughs> Wikipedia? Rascal the character or Rascal the game? Uh, maybe the the main care like the kid. That would make sense. Jim Henson I think programmed Rascal it himself. Was designed by Momar Gaddafi. <laughs> maybe. Programmed it himself. That would explain a lot of how this game plays. Jim Henson's first programming venture. Oh, the company designed him. Oh, Jim, that's true. Jim Henson died in 1990. There's no way he designed Rascal. Rascal well, maybe that born. was his last thing he did. He wrote, he drew, he drew a piece Ooh. on a piece of paper, a kid with a purple shirt and a hat. That would be <laughs> and said, and he, this and needs he, to be a video game, but wait nine years. No, he said, oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. And then. <laughs> and then he drank some juice. <laughs> Uh, okay. I think that shark is. That shark, that shark has a very interesting face. I think it's smiling. Yeah, it is. It's happy to be in Rascal. It's just happy to work. Oh, there's a blue key. And everything else will only hurt me. There's two doors, though. What? Where do I go from here? Oh, wait, I was supposed to go through the ceiling. I went through the floor. So I'm going to go back. Out the blue key, though. Captain Shores. Thank you for the gift soup. Uh... Okay, so I'm going to go up first. Oh, God. Uh. All right, this is a big area. Let's see here. 
Oh, there's an hourglass piece. Basically, Sea of Thieves. Where do I go? Swim across the board and ship gets to the top hourglass piece. Now go back into the hole. Okay. So that this room only exists for that one piece. It seems unnecessary. Such could be said of much of Rascal. Yeah. Now go into the Nobody floor. has to play the game. I have to. In fact, why'd they even invent the PS1? True. They could have just made the PS2. You can't eat a PS1. Um. The doorway. Well, now go to the left side through the blue key in the room. Now go to the left side. Okay. See? This is relatively painless. I only need one more. The last two levels have been a bit of a breeze. At the risk of fucking it up by saying it out loud. Um, through the blue door, go through the hole in the right wall, swim around the wooden thing, and get the bottom hourglass. I love this guide. Oh, the wooden thing. <laughs> oh god, rascal. Okay. Now, where do I go? Swim back to the intersection room where you got the blue key. This time you need to go through the right side door. Got it. Person's a lifesaver. Oh, oh, oh. Go through here. In this room, go through the yellow door to your right, and here, swim forward. Hello. There. Now I just gotta swim forward. Apparently I'm home free. Oh my god, I am. Well, I saw a heart out there. I'm gonna go get it. I might be able to save with full health and four lives. This is blowing my mind. I'm like shocked. I'm shocked. You need those. I'm fucking shocked. I was fighting for my life like an hour ago and now I'm like breezing through the levels. This feels like something's wrong. I have full health and four lives. I'm rascal blessed. Insane that rascal got easier during the tank control water levels. Yeah. True. It's honestly... It's wild that in this game, water levels are the best levels because they're the least yeah. difficult. Which I think says a lot about Rascal, the Rascal... The Rascal in situation, scenario. Um... Now the, boss, the next boss level is apparently accumulation of previous battles with Cronon. Hopefully I could use that same strat I did earlier. That would be sick. He shoots slow. Oh, just figure it out. We'll do it. I saved. Alright, Cronon. What if it's in the, like the, an identical arena? Please tell me it's like the exact same fight. It says the world is completely different in the guide. Oh god. Nice music. Okay. So yeah. Same exact idea, just Shh. shooting flames apparently now. There's water. 
he has two new attacks that we've never seen. Throwing hourglasses. Yeah. Don't think there's an easy way to cheese it, though. No, nothing really to hide behind. Maybe that... <laughs> maybe this. Oh, no, it goes nope, through. Goes right through it. Goes through it. The water's the the fire seems relatively easy to dodge. Yeah, this honestly seems easier than the last one. Yeah. They, maybe they were feeling generous for this world. The music is the music fucked up. Oh. Okay. I feel like the music's like bugging out. Uh, experimental. <laughs> the, the CD's skipping. Great core. <laughs> it's so funny that I can't tell if it's intentional. I don't think it's. I think it is just fucked up. I'm into oh, it. Oh, wait. It seems I could just back up. Instead of running circles around them. Oh. I think the circles are safer. I'm barely doing damage to him. Uh, oh, yeah. One more. One more hit. Got him. Wow. Oh. That was easy as hell. Yeah, you you cleared that one super quick. That whole world. I think I I do need to go back and beat the first world boss, though I didn't do that. Which is uh concerning. Well at this point you've cleared full cleared at least two of the five. Yeah, I don't remember if I did the second I don't remember if I did the Aztec Temple boss. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely didn't do the castle boss. I saw it and I was just like, fuck it. Fuck that. What was this from a review? Next Generation Magazine. Even the most biased Nintendo fan has to admit that, ra that Rascal breaks dangerous new ground on PlayStation. While no company other than Nintendo can lay claim to designer Shigeru Miyamoto's superb work with Mario 64, Rascal remains a title to watch in 1998. What does that mean? That must have been before the game came out. Maybe. If but that's such it's a, non a title to watch. It's such a nothing. It's such a nothing sentence. While no other company has Mario 64, check keep your eye out for Rascal. Um, maybe I'll go try and fight the dragon. If I can remember where the dragon is. It must not be behind a key door, right? If it's the first level. Yeah, I, I already, uh... Oh, uh, wait. I think you were in the right room. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, afraid, room... I'm afraid I didn't save. I don't remember saving. I don't remember if the dragon was its own world that you had to go back into, or if it was part of like one of, of like the present castle. I'm just gonna save in a new block here, just to be sure. It was part of the very, very first level. So, it must be if I jump back in. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna keep going through the game, and then if- if- We'll see what happens. I'm sure the game will tell me if I can't progress. Well, I shouldn't say that. Yeah, just like how it told you about the- what those tiles do. <laughs> yeah. I think red is the last one we got. Uh, 
is this? This one crazy. I think this. I think this is the old west. I think it's old west and then modern city, and then that's it. Oh, this music. Yo. What? Is, what is this music? <laughs> What is this music? Oh, man, they're fingers only. <laughs> this fucking rules. Definitely won't get annoying. Yeah, the the moment I heard the first notes, oh my god, they can shoot me. That sucks. Uh oh, they got guns now. That sucks, dude. Oh yeah, this song is gonna get real annoying. <laughs> oh my god, I love the eagle <laughs> spawning. I think this game was made in the UK, right? This seems like what is that? A yeah, snake? I think so. This definitely seems like a UK interpretation of America, like eagles and cowboys. Was from the UK. We go through the RIP door. Oh, well, that eagle is gonna get annoying fast. The good news okay. is you have four lives. Yeah. I should probably, if I die, I should probably just uh, reload my save. This will just be, this will be a life that's dedicated to figuring this out. Um, Dodge City. I really like these levels. They look good and they're well spaced, allowing for the camera to behave most of the time. I also like the different shops you charming. can go into. It is charming. This level is quite charming. Old West, probably my favorite level in the game since it reminds me of the western towns in the Duke Nukem games. Old West is more of an open level and not linear, oh no. As you start off, you'll be in a bank. Take note of the red door on the other side of the barrier in front of you. Now turn around, and how long is this? Oh, this level seems like a long one. Um, Let's see here. Turn around and go to the door, shoot and kill the cowboy in the middle of the street, or else he'll tear you a new hide. Turn around and go into the building to the right of the bank you came out of. You're looking directly at the bank, that is. In here, take note of the blue lock on the jail cell. God knows where the fuck... I see a yellow door. Oh, don't know where I just jumped into. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Horses kicking bales of hay around as an obstacle. Did I just collect yeah. it? Yeah, I did. <laughs> this is such like a creative. yeah. This is such like a, this is such a funny like the old American West. This is, this is iconic. exactly what we do here. <laughs> this is what it's like in Texas when I go got horses everywhere bales of hay just being kicked I love this song well, I'm gonna hope this is the I think this guy is kind of going out the window on this one What did I just do? I broke the podium. Maybe you unlock the door. Oh, awesome. Oh, bats. Uh, yes. Why not? More more quicksand needed. Oh, oh yeah, and it goes down. Okay. Well, that's why you All have right. four of them. Well, no, I'm going to reload my save. What? I don't, don't want to. <laughs> Wait. I don't want to lose even one. But what's one the point life. of the lives? The lives are there to be used. Well, this is just a, this is an exploration. You know, I could have, I could have, I could have not died there, but. I guess so. That and I need to, I need to follow the guide more closely. I got lost, <laughs> so. Yeah, that's fair.
Yeah, the the famous old the old west quicksand. That was Red Door. Alright. <laughs> I love these fucking shitty synth violins or whatever they are. They wanted a banjo sound so bad, but just yeah. the sound card can't, cannot emulate a banjo. <laughs> Take note of the red door on the other side of the barrier in front of you. Now turn around and go out the door. I think it's that door I'm supposed to go out of. Oh yes, because I thought I was in the bank. Okay. Uh, now. Shoot the guy. Uh, turn around and go into the building to the right of the bank. Oh. A free heart. The right of the bank would be this one. Oh, America! I love whoever that is, that guy. Uh, we got a we got a pelt Very and we got the American flag. flag. <laughs> yeah, a, a one by one rendition of the American flag. And we got a bank robber over the there. Three, four aspect ratio. That seems to be the exit. Um, go into the jail cell on the right, use the bed to jump up and get the, oh, there it is. I love this song. I wish I could see it. There we this go. Is pretty egregious. Yeah, yeah, this room is pretty bad. Um, head back out into the streets. When you get out here, stay on this side of the street and go through the door immediately left to where you came out of the building. Oh, that's a bigger American flag right there. Yeehaw. Heart for me? Oh, I'm supposed to jump on them. That's what they were getting me to do. But awesome. Yeah. Love when that happens. Eh? Something Every good. Time something time. good happens, and something bad happens immediately after. Um. First, jump on the sparkling podium, and it'll sink in. Go through the door that the podium revealed by moving the two coffins. Okay, didn't even see that. An area with a bunch of crates. All right, so the crates is where we are supposed to be. All right, these sinks. Oh my God! What? Alright, sick. And double check. Avoid the bats, work your way to the other side to get the top left hourglass. Now work your all your way all the way back to the beginning crate, then jump towards the door. Get out the next door and into the streets again. We don't need anything else here. Thank God. 
not want to spend time here. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh lord. What even is this room? No, no it's clue. so weird. Like, where is it? Am I cheating at Rascal? Nope. No. I'm okay. playing through this fair and square. A guide is not cheating. I firmly believe this. Give me hearts, give me hearts, give me hearts, give me hearts. I love that poster on the wall, it just says Gold Rush. The song like almost veers into a Diddy Kong Racing song at some point. It's very close. I'll take it. All right. Uh, work it back a little bit. Go back. Go back to the barn. Go over to the barn with the horseshoe sign hanging on the outside, and go inside. Run to the back while jumping over the balls. Oh, those are the that we were there before. Uh, where is that? Oh, I see it. All right, not bad. We got three left. Halfway. Got to get over this without dying. Okay. Oh my God, there's a scorpion right there. Uh, jump up and get the bottom right, head back out to the streets, run across the street into the saloon, shoot the bartender and get the yellow key that he leaves behind. So I need some help for that. Oh, shit. Oh, no one's giving me health. The kindness that was shown to me in the last level is, oh, is now gone. Oh well. I'm not gonna Three whole lives. Yeah, That's I cool. think I might be okay. I just, I'm afraid of getting to the final boss and it taking like three lives to beat it. But that is fair. If it's the boss, I could just reload a save. It's not like I'm gonna lose progression. Fuck that fucking thing. You gotta get out of this area. Yeah, There's like I'm nine forgetting enemies. Where I, I'm forgetting where oh, the saloon. Bartender. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's... Give me a drink, bartender. I want to take a look at his face. It's the guy. That's him. Give me a drink, bartender. I kill him with your bubble gun. <laughs> oh. Oh, you had to. There was I no other to. choice. Yeah, there was... You otherwise, I would have let him. I would have let him live otherwise. Is that all that there is in this? Oh, I have to shoot this. Cool. A hundred dollar reward for that guy. For cartoon. Murder? Yeah, Rascal just technically murdered someone that was not a threat. This kid just killed someone. Uh, well, walk over to the table with the pitcher. Blah, blah, blah. Shoot the door to the right of the bar. Or so go into where you'll see a train that shoots steam out. Oh, that's a train. Oh, fun. Is turning somebody into a bubble killing them? Well, he did vanish. He's well, yeah, not, but that's I don't just because bubbles tend to pop. That sounds like, that sounds like finality. I think he's yeah, dead. Well, but you didn't pop him, you just turned him into a bubble. <laughs> so it's like jigsaw logic. He doesn't kill people, the yeah, traps I've do. I've never killed anyone. <laughs> Killing is distasteful to Rascal. To me. Okay, I have the yellow key. I guess I should just go through here. It's gonna put me in a minecart. Yep. Alright, I'm oh, scared. Oh, yep. 
I'm scared. Know it. Um, run across the yard to your newly found key. Enter. You're now barreling down a mine shaft and a shoddy and a shoddy mine cart. Like with all other parts like this, stay in the middle, but avoid any object that is in the middle. When you get to the bottom, you'll be you'll be a cave area. Oh, this really is just, oh my god, it's the slide section, but worse. This is like literally the same one, too. They, they just reused it. Except it like controls way, way worse. Yeah, that's rough. But it doesn't seem as threatening. I could, it's I could slower. like, I could wiggle around and like maneuver yeah. around the rocks. You got lots of health. Okay, that was that was kind. That was kind and easy. Just wait until uh, we make you go back up. Oh. Okay, okay. They were very kind about that. They did not. I would have died in other levels if I fell. That's true. It really feels like they got this far into the game, and it's like a reward if you make it for, <laughs> through the first three levels. They're like, all right, we'll make it easier. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is, uh, should be fine. Um, you need to cross the platform through the door, and here you'll need to jump across the pointed rocks to the other side while avoiding the swinging logs. If you fall into the water below, run your butt off to the steps built into the wall and jump back up. The key here is, is to be patient. Once you get past the two logs, you should be fine. Plastic platforming obstacle right here. Yeah, this is not so bad. Patience is key. Damn. Okay, more, more platforming. Can you work for it? Uh... Jump on the first circular platform that's leveled with the ledge that you're on, then do a running jump to the platform to the far left. Work your way up and around these platforms, grabbing the red key that's on the fourth platform above your ledge. To the top, go through the doorway. A running jump? Oh, for this one, I see. Oh, thank God they're not falling. Yeah, it definitely seems like they really were much more attentive to the difficulty of playing the game. Maybe, maybe the first couple of levels were designed with the other controls, and they just didn't want to redesign yeah. them. Yeah, they couldn't and so go the, back. The later levels are designed with tank controls because it is like remarkably easier. That would make more sense. Um, in this room are platforms shit. that that float across the water in, sh in threes. Jump on the first set, second set, then float across the water. Okay. You fall in the- oh, okay, so it won't kill me if I- Oh, uh, okay. Whoa, whoa, fast and loose. Okay, All so right. I've been Arginate. trying to remember this game for the past 26 years. Some annoying neighbor kid showed me this when I went over to their house. Damn, I really? It weird, but could only remember some nest looking kid, and it's this dude. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, Beetle Buddy. Core memory unlocked for you. Sorry. Yeah, our bad. Ooh, lots of hearts. Okay, where do I gotta go? Go into the bank. Oh my god, it's the end of the level. Oh, I do have everything. Holy you, shit. You still need the blue key, right? Yeah, but I, that's apparently in here. Okay. So I, got, I think there's, oh yes, there's the red door that I never went through. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. gives you that. 
you need a blue you need a red key to get, to get the, the blue, blue key, key. <laughs> there's like not even a challenge it's just you're turning in one key for another key uh and i think it is the this building here that has the the blue yep there it is gotta salute the flag easy i only died once can't wait to hear the soundtrack for the next level yeah hollywood we're going to hollywood baby hope it's just the same song <laughs> that'd be great uh oh okay i thought it froze for a second i got scared All right, it's time to go to Hollywood, baby. Bright lights, big city. Let's check out the city of angels, the city of stars. Let's go. I got high hopes for this level. I'm looking forward to this one. Should better be cool. What? Oh, now you're in like a western set. And and the sound guy is trying to kill you. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be a city. That's disappointing! Ha <laughs> ha! What is this song? Certainly this isn't the whole thing, right? Certainly. What is this right? song? I love this weird... This is the modern old western music. Um, shoot the pirate in front of you, then turn around and go through the door. Take a mental note. <laughs> okay. What, what? I don't know. Just, just take one. Oh, dude, if you get to, like, go explore a bunch of different sound stages, that'd be kind of cool. Love this music. Why are there pirates? That's not a pirate. I think that's supposed to be like a crew guy, but it says yeah, pirate. Yeah, he's holding up. It says the pirate in the board. in the game facts. This is an ugly fucking that stage. Is not a pirate. At least the doors are numbered. Yeah, going to two maybe. Take a mental note with the exit pad in front of you before leaving that area. What? I don't see an exit pad. Oh, is it here? The yellow? Yeah. Okay. So the yellow thing. Oh. Okay. This next area, the studio doors are numbered. Go through door number four. That, what What's the set gonna be? It's fucked up. You, the game wouldn't just have you go through door number two. <laughs> oh, red key. Oh, oh this is like a, a... The Godfather. I hear guns. Oh, this is like yeah, a mobster movie. Guns. Oh, it's a mobster movie. Oh shit. Oh, they, they were pulling out all the stops for this last level. Oh, they are holding guns. I love the sparse gunfire. Wait, can I just kill you? They want to kill this kid. Damn, he hurt me when he died. Okay. Uh, grab the red key in front of you and use the park truck truck to get the top left hourglass. Exit out and go through door number three, five. Okay. Where is it? There it is. Whoa. What is this? Oh, your recording studio. Like a, yeah, like a little little bio music biopic. Did I go through the right door? Run through this red archive place and go to this archive <laughs> place. Has the person who wrote this guide been anywhere? Uh, no, I don't think this person. <laughs> They're just not aware of things. The red archive place and the door on the right. Oh shit, I'm in a monster movie. Oh, oh shit, this is cool. 
Oh, this is fun. This is a good idea for a level. For a game like this. Even... I don't know if I'm doing any damage. I don't I think, think I could so. hurt I don't think I could hurt that thing. I thought I saw an orange fly out of it once. Take care of the reptile for... Okay, so I can. I'm okay, just well, like... I have weak ammo. You have oh. to be really oh, close. Oh, there's like a guy know. flying around. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> what is that guy? I don't know. I wish I could keep it on and listen to the music, but there's threats around. Um... Take care of the dinosaur. Next, you'll need to get to the top hourglass piece that's in, in the shiny building in the center on top. To do this, you'll have to solve a puzzle. Notice the colors on the ground next to the building. What you have to do is raise these objects in that order to form steps going up the what? building. Order? What order? Is it... I see, a, I see a green light here. Oh. Uh... Why were they so allergic to feedback in this game? <laughs> they don't want you to know what's happening at all. Um, Maybe that you have to do the red one first? Look for the building with the blue helipad on top. Step on the helipad. Jump two buildings over and step on the green helipad. And finally walk over to the other side of the room and jump on the red helipad. If this is done fast enough, Vague, will, it will raise all the steps without any sinking back oh, in. Oh, um, I see. They're, they're, they started to raise up. Okay. Okay, jumped on one. Oh god. Oh god. No! Okay, one. Two. Oh, of course that hurts me. Three. There we go. Nice. Got that. I think that's it for this room. Hmm, where should I go now? Uh. I'm going to go through door number six. Oh, but I have the red key, so it's fine. Oh, I guess that moved it. I don't know. Kind of confusing. Yeah. Movie set. Here's shuffling. Oh, it's Texas Chainsaw. Is it? Oh, it is a horror or movie. Something. There's like a bunch of hooks everywhere. Oh, and they hurt me, oh. of course. <laughs> <laughs> and they work, uh, too. I'm not happy about going down to two lives. I don't know if I should. No, I'm not going to restart. I'll just save in a different save. And then worst case, I'll... Because I'm only one. I have to beat this, and then it's a boss, and then it's the end of the game, so... I think we're well, good. Oh, you have to go back and beat the other bosses you skipped. Oh, true. Hmm. Maybe... Eh. Whatever. I think you're fine. I think I'll be okay. I might be able to get an extra life in here and go back up to three. Um... Fucking song. He sends that. Red door. Kill else. the guy in this room. Get the bottom hourglass piece. Got it. Now get the blue key in the center of this room. I've got it. Will now be in a cool looking set. Huh? Oh, maybe it's this door that I gotta go through. Oh, sick. The Toy Story set. Oh god, spiders. Spider story. Remember in Toy Story where they got attacked by a spider? <laughs> that was really easy. Okay. Golly Tolly, thank you for the soup. 45 whole moss. Slow. Ross Glover. Slaw. Do I have to shoot? Oh, no, of course not. I probably just have to jump on them. Oh, that's going to be fun.
Oh, wait, what? Oh. Shoot it, but uh, regardless, jump up onto the books, jump across the green, to the green box, onto the first shiny ball. Head out of the room. Oh, Jesus, that's gonna be hard. Oh, jeez. Thankfully, Showing I don't... off your cool reflection maps. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I don't die when I fall. That would have been... This probably would have broken me. Oh, no. Oh. That's crazy. Yeah, this is real hard. Oh my goodness. Rascal's ultimate platforming challenge is yeah. stand on a ball. It's so fucking easy in this game to overshoot because he has momentum. Okay. No, oh, damn it. Oh, rough. Do you ever have a Newton's Cradle? Nope. I see them in like TV shows all the time. Oh. Ooh. Alrighty. Yes. Out of here. I don't want to do any more platforming on Just balls. Run into the darkness. Oh yeah, I guess that's the move. It's pretty scary. Wait, where do I Certain go? Is it just up the red thing? No. Are you for real? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm restarting my Hello? fucking... Hello? Oh no, <laughs> you gotta start over. Yeah, fuck that. That's fucking what, how funny. How are you supposed to leave? I don't know. It put a ramp there. <laughs> it just leads to a pit. <laughs> I'm telling you, Rascal is a special game. What the fuck? Nothing like it. Oh, I didn't load my save. Level 10. Yeah, that was a full-on prank. This game shares a lot with Dark Souls. There's a lot of Dark Souls in this game. I'm confused by the numbering. Level 10, 5? Yeah, what I don't that... I don't understand. How what is it the... level 10? I mean, I guess because it's... Yeah, I guess it would be level 10, considering each world has two levels. But what does the 5 mean? No clue. All right, I remember what to do, so. Go back, I think, into this room. Kill the sound guys, or the filmers, or pirates. This guy doesn't even care. And then I think the first door was four that we wanted to go through. I don't need to kill these guys. And then it was, ooh, I'm just five, I think. Yeah, the archive, the archive room. I'm afraid I'm missing, uh, I'm kind of rushing through it. I remember this though. I think you're good. 
I'll just double check the guide once I'm back to where I was. Cause it's not like this stuff has has to be done in a specific fuck, order. Fuck. I swear I jumped over there with no assistance last time. You definitely did. It's a very banjo riff. go. I don't even need to do the blue one. That's pointless. Alright, got the red. There you go. Back here pretty easily. The heart here. Oh, he is holding like a like a clacker, clapper, whatever those are. I don't called. remember what, the, what that thing's called. The slate. Slate, yeah. There you yeah. Go. Uh. I like the idea that that means that they're like running up and they're trying to pinch your fingers. <laughs> All right, I gotta remember. Oh God, I forgot about the spider. Oh, Jesus Christ. I remember that that's not a wall, that is, we are in a void. Nice. Okay. How the fuck do I get now back? Now time to figure out how to leave. Not this way. Where's the exit? There's no way. Don't, that, that's, that's definitely not it. Yeah, you like, you popped out of this thing, right? Let me check the guide. Jump across to it. Head out of the room. Okay, so it doesn't tell me how. If we're saying ink bottle is a door, maybe check the front of the. Oh, ink I saw it when I was in it. This is a door. Yeah. Oh my That's gosh. Fucking... <laughs> it doesn't look like anything. <laughs> That's bullshit. All right. I could use some hearts right now. Um. With door number three, I'll unlock the blue gate. Whoa. What kind of movie is this? Oh, it's a tomb. Some sort of tomb. With a coffin? That's oh, a I jumped in, I guess. What the oh, hell is that? <laughs> That's a weird looking texture. Uh, oh, I'm loving how these platforms are moving. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone found out how to do curves. Yo, I uh, just invented splines. <laughs> Check it out. Jump across the flowing platforms to the side. Get to the top right hourglass PCI. Yeah, I saw that in the corner. So we'll just have to do that. Okay, oh my god, this is wow, fucked Wow, and it up. turns the camera. This is so fucked up. <laughs> that's fu that's funny. Actually just sickening. That's funny. Not a care at all in there. Am I on the right side? Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Oh. Did I fuck up? Where's no, you the... just you have to go back across. Oh no! That. Yeah. I call because I couldn't see it because of the camera. All right. Yep. Oh. You just have to make the jump really fast. Oh, God. You got probably the piece. That's, that's I probably have an allowance of one more hit I could take, or two more. But let me see if I actually have to go through that door. With the reddish door, okay. As soon as you go through the next door, you are automatically given the yellow key, just so you know. <laughs> okay, uh, great. 
All right, that's not so bad. I like, I like putting it just so you know in a guide. <laughs> I guess I would like to yeah. know. That's true. They just give it to you. That's weird. Yeah. So now right. do you just wait? What the? Oh. Whatever. Whatever. So is it just? Did it lead you to an identical room or? Well, the platforms oh, no, are moving the differently. Platforms are different. Yeah. Oh, should I shoot this wall? Is that a secret? Ooh, a secret. Could give me an extra life or something? Yeah, I see it. It is an extra life. Oh god, fuck it. It's worth nope. it, one hit. <laughs> worth it. Free life. You don't need that health. No, I'll find a heart somewhere. Um... This area looks exactly like the last area, except there's one difference. It's a crack in the wall. Got that. Collect your extra life. Once back once back out, take the same way across as you did before, only grabbing the bottom left hourglass piece. Once you're all the way across, go through this reddish door as well. You're now back on the street set. Now I gotta make sure to jump on the right side. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, it's just the exact same room. It's just they just make you do the same room twice. <laughs> I guess the platforms are different. Is there no actual camera control? Nope. It just it nope. follows the back of the player. It's uh, real bad. There we go. I got everything. Then I've got one boss left, and then I pretty much have the last part of the game. I never thought I'd beat Rascal in my lifetime. <laughs> Really, you just kinda, I genuinely you thought that I would never fun. be able to beat this game. It was that hard at the beginning. Like this game yeah, is so fucking hard. Those first levels were hard. way more brutal than these. Brutal. I mean, even the Atlantis ones were pretty rough. Yeah, and that was with a guide. Definitely would not be able to without so a now guide. Now you just go back to the start of the level, right? Yeah, yeah, that's where the thing is. The time bubble. Go through. Door number. It'd be one, one, right? Yeah, it's gotta be one. Here we go. Oh my god. That's the last linear platform collectathon level of Rascal. Kind of crazy. Insert disc two. Yeah, insert disc two. Five more levels. Well, you know, you can always just play the game again. I think about how much that. more fun it's going to be the second time. Honestly, I was thinking of. I feel like with my tank controls platformer trading, I could probably play Croc easier now. And yeah. before. I, I don't didn't know if I want to do that. Croc. The last few levels in Croc are kind of rough, but I didn't it's hate probably it. Probably easier to get, like, probably less cryptic than this game. Yeah, it's a little. Like, I wouldn't you, need a guide you're, probably you're not, to beat it. You don't it. get lost. Alright, this is the, the boss before the corridors of time. Whoa. Damn, what's this music? Alright, this is the same deal as before. Oh, he's got the fucking frisbees, though. That's not good. Don't like those frisbees. No power ups here too. Kind of wild. They're just like fuck you. You're practically a rascal master at this point. Um. 
Getting through this with the weakest gun. Look at that. One more hit. And he's dead. Damn. Look at that. And the game just spits you out. No, no information, nothing. Thanks for beating the boss. Hmm. That is technically the final, well, not the final boss, but that's the final world boss. Didn't you say that you had to like beat the first world's boss or something? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Um, I don't really know how to get to the corridors of time. Maybe I need, yeah, I need to go back and... I just need to start jumping into the portals and seeing which ones I haven't done. Fuck, I don't remember. This is... I don't remember what that is. There really Jump is no way. Out. Yeah, yeah, what a great map. See. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, there is one area that seems like I haven't opened yet. There is a door. Is it the blue door? Yeah, so I need... Oh, no. No, this one... Yeah, this one was already unlocked. That's that little temple. Is it this? Yeah, so this door seems to be locked. Red is beat. Also green and yellow, so I don't have to go downstairs. It's this door over here. Oh, that might be the corridors of time. I'll jump in and find out. What is this? Castle present. Yeah, so I think that is the... Let's see here. That means that you probably didn't beat this one, right? Because otherwise it would take you to the either the past or the boss. Um, I don't... Oh, maybe. I think you probably just beat the... Oh, no. This is not the last one. And you didn't, I didn't beat yeah. Castle present. <laughs> I need to beat Castle present. Okay, we weren't actually done. False alarm. As far as I can tell, though, the, the, the castle levels didn't really have any hard platforming. They were just really maze-like. Castle present boss rush ultimate punishment. Um. Easier to go to the left and work your way around. Huh? I know I beat this level. I remember. I remember jumping into this thing. So, how the fuck do I beat? Unless I beat the first boss. And I didn't beat the. The Aztec level boss. Well, the great news is that there's no way to know. Yeah, there's no way to know. Um. But I definitely remember on one of the streams jumping into that. Thing. Hmm. Curious. I'll go to the Aztec temple and see if... Uh... How the fuck do I get up? See if that lands me in a boss. Because it might be that once you beat the boss, it takes you to the present version of the level.
the at the uh, the Aztec Temple was very difficult. I might uh, I might actually have not beat that one. I might have just skipped over that. Uh, twelve oh three is twelve oh three. I did too many random saves. I think it's this one. Stream keeps freezing. Some shit's going on with Twitch. I'm not dropping any frames, though I did disconnect earlier for a little bit, but it seems like Twitch is like shit is fucking up. It's crazy that the game shows you other saves that yeah, you can't that... do anything to. Don't I guess know maybe why. you could delete them if you wanted to make room for Rascal on your memory card. Um I think this is the temple. Nope, that's the castle. Uh, not going downstairs. Blue? Yes, this is the temple. Oh. Huh? I don't remember this at all. What is this? Okay, yeah, was you it, definitely haven't done this level. Wasn't whatever this a this fucking is. temple before? What the hell is this? This is, this is temple present. It got turned into a logging mill, I guess. Oh. Lumber yard. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't do this at all. I don't remember this at all. Okay. Well, I guess that's what's missing. So I did the castle boss, I just didn't do this. Oh, I'm seeing... Oh, no, that's Atlantis. That seems relatively short. Jump up onto the swinging logs and get to the top log. What is this music? Oh, this is fun. A little Crash Bandicoot type beat. Walk into the red button. What? <laughs> Bam. Kind of like a jock jam almost. <laughs> Got a little bit of vitamin C energy. Did I do? I don't... Walk into I the red button. Rested. And the gate behind you will open. Oh, okay, it opened. Oh. Got some snakes here too. Well, that one's just your friend. Oh no, it's not uh, my friend, mind. but it's I also not your can't friend. hurt it. <laughs> it's invincible. Oh, awesome! Little frogger, little frogger action. Oh my god, those things go by fast. Did I just make this jump? Did the flower just kill me? I can only assume yes. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um, okay. Way at the top, the left, the log to come jump on it, then next onto the stump. Okay. Scared of this. Uh, oh, okay. All right, not so bad. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, a cobra. They can't kill anything in this level. You gotta remember, this was a room. level at the start of the game, which means it's going to be way too hard. Oh, true. Huh? What the hell? I guess I'm not supposed to go there. This game is busted. What? What, <laughs> what do I do? 
Uh, no way do I have to go back. The riverbank. Grab the yellow key and work your way back across. Oh, okay, so this is just a dead end. Awesome. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm about to reload my save. Flower. Okay. Go to the yellow door on the right of the swinging logs. I see it. Oh, shit. Uh. Oh, oh shit. That stuff hurts me. Okay. Uh oh. It's truly unhinged. What? How did that? What hurt me? Yes. I think it's the vines hanging down. Oh, I died. Fuck that. I'm reloading my shit. I'm not getting back down to zero lives. I don't want the, the boss fights to be a struggle. Oof. Damn, I thought it was I thought it was done with Rascal. I found out I have a whole ass other level. I don't know how I got past Oh, well, I guess. Yeah, the way that the game makes you progress is really weird. So I probably saw the lo that level as optional and I never went back to it again. evolving pulling me back in it will never end rascal never ends that also doesn't look like a lumber yard is gonna hurt me probably Game again? of the year, Rascal. Yeah. Gonna make me cross again. Damn, yeah, those 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 early levels are. They must have designed them before they changed control schemes because oh, this is fucked up, messed. Without a up. doubt. Awesome. Awesome. So fucking bad, dude. I like that there's just a snake there for no reason. Like this Only snake. to hurt you, probably. Only We're back there to, the to hurt you. Part of Rascal, I yeah. think. This is Rascal. Rascal's back to his old ways. He thought right. they'd changed. They hadn't changed.
All right, this part is confusing because I can't tell what's hurting me when it hurts me. There's, there's green vines, but I can't tell if the vines are hurting me or the wood or. I would just make the assumption that anything that you touch is going to damage you. Oh man! Oh man! This shit's gonna eat up my lives. Yeah. Yep. This was the this was the same with the the first Aztec level was the same. Yep. The slide the slide part of that one was like I lost like just, three lives to it. Why would they make the turn so tight that you can't see what's coming? Also, like they're what? not giving me hearts. They're not giving me a chance to heal. It's gotta be over soon. Okay. At least you made it past that. Alright. Would love some hearts. Oh, a secret? A life would be cool, and some hearts would be cool. I see a heart there. Yes. Ooh, wow. Oh my goodness. This is rascal for you. Puts you through some terrible shit and then it's like, please keep playing. Don't give up. Look. Don't give up. We gave you a life. Um, let me oh, just. Who knows check. what that did? Um. Let's see, uh, no, no, no. walk to the right, push the red switch in, very quickly run into the water and swim down. Swim down and grab the top hourglass, very quickly it says. Oh, okay. Oh, of course these fish hurt me. Save? I don't think you know how this game works. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, that no, is, that's uh, a no-go. That is a uh, very comp- that is a very loaded term in this game. Oh, imagine if I got I trapped like, in there. totally ready for the soft walk <laughs> in there. Oh, Alright, I'm gonna hit away from death. Classic. Um... Oh, what side you come up on depends on where you come up from the water. Okay. Weird, but... huh? So weird. Okay. These dudes were cooking Oopsie. something. Oopsie, I'm scared to touch this shit. What if it's gonna kill me? Um... Uh, three switches after getting the piece in the water come up to the three switches pull the left and the right switch down leaving the middle switch up oh god oh of course I'm sliding around Fucking. What if this game had fall oh. damage? Yeah, that would have been the end of that. I can't believe this. Sh Why sucks. am I sliding on this shit like ice? Fucking hell. Oh. 
feel like this game would be easy without tank controls. I mean, that's why the latter half of the levels were like not hard. That's how most of the game would have been probably. All right, something gonna kill me. Oh no, if that guy sees me, I'm oh, dead. Oh, just full of bees. If that guy sees me, I'm fucking dead. I can't shoot him because nope. I can't see him. Okay. Damn. Okay. He's coming for you. Yeah, he's fucking gunning it. Oh, there was a heart right there. Oh, that breaks my heart. Oh, I could have healed and saved a life. Um. After getting the piece in the water. Shoot the chainsaw guy to get the bottom hourglass piece. Hit the lever on the right to raise the three stumps. Lever. Oh, I see it. treadmill so this is scary walk off of it to the left walk to the other side and jump back on the treadmill um oh what the fuck This was ambitious. This is complicated. Uh, walk off the left and jump back onto the center of the treadmill. Jump up and grab the top right hourglass between the two spinning things. Oh, I see it. God. Alright. Get off the treadmill and go through the door on the northwest side of the room. Jump out of the center. Another hourglass piece, I see. God. Oh, yeah. Causing me real pain. Okay. I feel you. What is that what, sound? What is that? Somebody eating apples over there? Oh. Just the guillotine. I'm gonna have to somehow to jump. Okay. Alright, that's not so bad. Oh. Oh, I'm done. At least for Battle the hourglass six, part. Nice. Where'd you leave? I only have one key, that's weird. This was this was a more linear level than they had been. Um, got a bit more open ended. Speed through the doorway, you'll now be in a room with a bunch of boxes. Run around to the left and jump on the boxes over the brick wall. Oh, I see. Wow. This only has one color key. Interesting. Really need a loading zone for that one, huh? <laughs> okay, not too bad. I got out of here with two lives. That's that's, that's not too not bad. the worst. All right. So that must be the last official platformer level of Rascal. Then I gotta beat a boss, and then I think I'll I'll leave the corridors of time to another stream. But getting close, made I a wanna... lot of progress. Yeah, one more stream. I'd say probably another two hours after I beat this boss and will be done with Rascal. Might be the only person to beat Rascal, aside from a speedrunner in the past like 10 years, I don't know. I don't know who else is touching this game. 
Let's see what this boss is. Isn't quarters of time just the final boss? It's like, it's, it's a boss rush, so you have to beat all the bosses again. Um, is this even the? I think this is the. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Just, just one boss in this game. Oh, oh thank did. God! This is the only attack. This is gonna be a breeze. This shit's gonna be. Yeah, this easy. is this is like the first boss in the game, potentially. I do you like this guy's design? Is just like a weird grandfather clock. The master of time. Riveting boss fight. <laughs> this one's... I don't know why they made him take so many hits. It really could have been half as many hits. Like, they, he doesn't do anything different. No. Game Boy doesn't change. Happy to be going into the next level with almost full hearts. One hit left. Final hit. Yeah. I wonder if that's it. I'm afraid I might have to do Castle Present again. I think I think you might have to. You should try going to a level that you're sure that you beat the boss in and see where it takes you. Because I would at least tell you like where you probably like where the game expects yeah. you to go. This is the one I just did. I think it's just going to drop me in the lumber yard. Oh no. Oh fuck, I have to redo that one then. Okay. Damn it. So yeah, you have to do the castle one again. Oh. Oh, that one's so that one's so long. Fuck it. I got to do it. I gotta barge through it. I gotta barge through it. This is gonna be a long ass stream. Well, I could probably do it in like 45 minutes. Yeah, and then that, that would probably be the last. It has to be the last one because definitely did Atlantis. I mean, definitely yeah, you, did you Aztec. Beat four bosses yeah, on so this stream, has to be the, so this is the last one. That has to be the last one. Damn, I can't believe I beat all the bosses in this stream. Uh, it was this one, I think. Castle fucking present. Block 
forward to the door in front of you. Sir, yes, sir. Easier to go left and what? But it says that hmm? there will be lasers in the room ahead of you. Maybe it's this one. Alright, there you go. Go left and work my way across. Fuck it. I'm just gonna tank the hits. Go through the door to the right. In this room, there's a bunch of spiders and two grates on the floor. Go to the top left through the door. In this room, with lasers guarding the door. I forgot the door, the dog that hurts you. Oh my god. I can't see! I'm gonna- oh my- uh, This is so frustrating! I can't believe oh my god, I'm gonna audacity, throw my computer out the window. I'm restarting The audacity the of putting power-ups one pixel higher than you can jump by default is so crazy. Fucking hell. This is, the guide for that level is very weird. It refers to the dog as a well-like thing. It says in this room is a well-like thing and a door and a door guarded with lasers. Um, wait, what? <laughs> Maybe it's translated. Oh, it's possible. Wheeler free walks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the okay. Go up and around the steps, jump off and grab the extra life. Yes. And there was a key there I gotta get again. Don't know what those are supposed to be. Um, once you have the blue key, head back to the beginning of the level and to the room you start right. off in. Thick. Awesome. <laughs> That's rascal. That's just mean. <laughs> oh, I love that that spawned right in front of the door. That's so crazy. to do now 
Go there, go across the room and through the door opposite to your location. Go down the steps and open the blue gate and go through. Do I think we'll be able to finish this game in the stream? Nope. The boss rush is not something I'm gonna do right now. Not on four and a half hours. I'm gonna need to be fresh for that one. Uh, plus I think I wanna- I wanna- I wanna plan like a celebration for when I beat Rascal. <laughs> Gotta I reward to, yourself. Yeah, I need- I need to- I wanna get- I wanna get like those like, uh, party- party noisemakers and a cake and- I wanna so see if I can get- like food. I wanna see if I can pay someone to make a Rascal cake for me. <laughs> um... Okay. Let's see here. Open the blue gate. Go forward, then turn right. Going into the first door on the right. So this was... This one. What? The fuck? It said go go to the first door on the right and it says go back out and turn right then go through the door on the left what this guide is stoned pick up that key okay yeah, i'm about to say like why should i not pick up this key i'm here peter griffin peter griffin yeah <laughs> i had the same idea Go back out and turn right and go through the door on the left. Oh my god, there's a lot of enemies there. Why, why would oh, the guide tell you to go into a room and walk out of the room? <laughs> this in this room, be careful not to touch the ghost since you can't kill it and it can hurt you. Go through the door. Go ahead through the next door and into a room with a ghost and a security guard. Shoot the guard. Man, these early levels were rough. Yeah. Why is there so many rooms? I love that. I love that ghost noise. It's like the quintessential spooky noise. Um, shoot the guard, get the bottom hourglass piece, work your way all the way back to the room with the well in the center. Next, jump in the well and into the water. Great. Bye, ghost. Like, how have you already been through, like, 15 rooms in this level and only have <laughs> one piece? Yeah, that's the thing with the, with the, with the later ones. Later ones, they were just handing them out for free. Yeah. The room with the well, the room with the golden key? Uh, no, it's the one with the stairs, I think. Oh, that's right. It's like all the way back there. Yeah, of course. I have to like go across again. part is completely composed of water and you can't surface for air. Be sure to pick up a bubble every time you see one. When you start down here, there's three ways to go. Left, forward, and right. Go right. If you need an air bubble, go forward and make a right. Oh, what is this angle that they started me at? What am I supposed to know what's forward and right? Uh, 
<laughs> oh my god. Oh wait, god, they said I can't dude. surface. That's true. I could die here. This is unfucking hinged. Fucking underwater maze, are you kidding? Is oh god, I don't wanna get I don't wanna get lost. No, I should not do that. You don't think that's the right way? No. No, because it said take a bubble, go left if you want to take a bubble, go forward otherwise. I'm just gonna turn mm -hmm. left here. There's a heart over there. And then I'll just go forward. Uh, oh god. I do need me some air. Uh, go right over... You know, all the way down and make another right, eventually go through a door and into a room with the bottom right. There it is. I'm gonna need air soon. I'm gonna have to go all the way back and get that air bubble. Well, certainly, there, would they really only put one bubble in this entire fuck off maze? I'm not about to find out. Oh, there it is. Oh, thank God. Oh. There's another one. Whoa, okay. Oh, all right, two out of six. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see, I get the good one. Welcome to a room with the bottom right hourglass piece. I got the bottom right. Head back as soon as you get the piece. Surface to get out of the water where you originally jumped in at, okay. Nice. All right. In this room, uh, now go through the other door in this room where you didn't come in at to the left of to the left if you're looking at both doors. This one, I think. See some lasers, yeah. Um, go past the first ones and jump on the display case to the right. Use to jump over the next two laser beams. <clears throat> oh, I can't shoot that guy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, I forgot there's something that you hit. Yeah, I did play this. I must not have saved when I beat this. I definitely remember yeah, beating this level. Yeah, or maybe level. it was just a different save that yeah, you beat it maybe. on. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's pass through. Go to the door to the right. And here, there's no obstacles or enemies. Go to the right. It does. level is bigger than some banjo kazooie levels. <laughs> She's bigger than Mumbo's Mountain. Got three. Halfway. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run into a switch that's gonna bring all the guards to life and then I have to fight my way back. It changes the time of day. Yeah, I remember that. First time getting high was three your first time getting high was during the first Rascal stream, and you remember hearing the music in your dreams. That sounds scary. I already hear that. Oh, I think they're just gonna start dropping, dropping uh, hourglass pieces for me now. 
that's at least kind of nice of them. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, oh, one more. Look <laughs> at those rats just hanging out. Yeah, they're, they're jamming. Get to a safe spot. And here you'll notice that the lasers blocking the doorway are now gone. Do. Go through the door next to the steps. Oh yeah, okay, that one. You ham Hamlet bot to the 30. This is now open. Probably gonna have to kill someone else in here. The last hourglass piece. Yeah. Nice. Nearly done. Go back out. Go through the yellow door. Ah, this person. This person says, go through the yellow door. You should have picked up the yellow key. That was the key that I picked up when they told me to leave the room yeah. instead of pick up the key. Why would they do that? That's crazy. Oh, yes, I remember this is where the exit is. Jump over this. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. This level is so big. Completely unnecessary how big it is. And then I'm pretty sure I just have to trust fall. And I, I think oh really? I think if I just go oh forward God. I land in the exit, but it doesn't show it to you. That's crazy. Did the guide say anything? Oh wait, it does say Oh fuck. There is actually a platform here. That's this one. And then you fall just, in. Just the worst camera possible. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, that's gotta for really real be the last. Yeah, that's, this is my third time saying it, but this level. has to be the last normal level. Just a boss to go. Well, this, this and then the rest is, of the game. And then the rest of the game. It's groundbreaking. You can do it in any order you want. It's really open world. Now, I'm guessing this is the very first boss of the game, so it can't be that hard. This is what inspired Elden Ring. Dark Souls has to take inspirations from this game. This is yeah. like early Dark Souls type. Why are you in like the like a grid? I'm not sure what that grid structure is. Amazing rascal gameplay. It's just as fun the fifth time they make you do it. Gotta be careful not to die for no reason.
There he goes. Oh, and there's a gray key. You did it. Doesn't even make a noise when nope, you pick nothing. it up. nothing. Completely unceremonious. Oh my god. At this point, I don't think anyone on the game team had played this far into the game. So just like, we hope it all works out. I'm just going to take a peek at the hallways of time and then I'm going to wrap up. Gotta give him a teaser. Yeah. Plus I want it. I want that rascal cake ready for me. That's got to be a huge celebration when I beat this game. So I'm guessing that unlocked. There was a gray was... door. Yeah, it was uh, in some uh... other room. No, not this one. This oh no, no. Oh, this one. Oh. Oh wait, I think there is a gray door in every level room that give that brings you to oh, that boss. Oh, and I bet, yeah. I think that's what that's what's happening. So this is the that's lumberyard kind of boss. Cool. What? Oh my god. What? This is the true final boss of Rascal. <laughs> is the Z fighting platforms. Oh, just pulled me in. All right. Oh, oh so this is the corridors of time. That looks pretty cool. I wonder if I die, if I do, yep. <laughs> Bye bye, Rascal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna save. I'm just gonna jump into one of these, take a look. They all look like nothing, but... It's impossible to know. This fucking music. <laughs> uh, what the what? fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Who is this guy? <laughs> Find Blastoise. I love that the music didn't change either. There's no change in the music. What the fuck is this? Uh, I think you have your work cut out for you for the rest of the game. Wow. Okay. It doesn't seem that hard, but. Nah, it doesn't seem that bad. Fuck. <laughs> what a fucking rough. Turtle. Turtle. Still shitting. Still shitting. Still, Still shitting. All right. That is holy shit. We're at Rascal the end of Rascal. Spiral energy to become Super Tengen Topaga Rascal Lagan and battle the anti Rascal. I honestly never thought that I would be this close to the end of Rascal. I got to plan a big celebration. I want to get a Rascal cake done. I want to get my rascal meal, which I'm thinking if I'm trying to think of foods that are in this game, I can't even think of one. I don't think I don't think you see food in this game. If I'm trying to think. Rascal cosplay? I could try. I bleach my hair. <laughs> if I bleach my hair for that for that, I don't know if that would be worth that would be it. That would be next level. Um Get glasses? I got glasses. I could try and find. Wear a wig. That, that's also an option. I think I do have a blonde wig somewhere. Um, I do. Yeah, I need to figure out a rascal meal. And uh, get a rascal cake. In my rascal outfit. And I'm going to sit down. I'm going to beat the game. And I'm going to cry. And celebrate. Because I genuinely never thought that I'd be able to beat Rascal, and here we are at the end. Thank you to the wonderful guide of Jeff H.
who wrote this guide to Rascal in 2003. So here we are over 20 years later using Jeff H's guide as our salvation to finishing Rascal. And we will finish it on the next Rascal stream, which don't know when that's going to be. You're going to have to you're going to have to keep your eyes peeled to find out. I need to plan. I need to find someone who can make me a rascal cake. That's going to be the important. I really want a rascal cake. I'm just hungry. So that's in the cards. And once rascal is wrapped up, we can finally go back to Azuric or Darkened Sky. One of those two. We still have to finish. Uh, both seem very long. So, but both. One, I have the official, I have the official Brady Games guide for Azuric, so that helps. But Dark and Sky, we don't know if there's a complete guide for that. I'll have to keep an eye out. But that is in the that is in our future now that Rascal is wrapping up. Um, and I had had the had the pleasure to be joined by a plat platformer expert, Donkey Kong expert, uh, Croc expert. Frog, who was Anytime. with me on this rascal journey. I'm not going to wrap up I'm just right magnetically now. attracted to 3D platformers. I can't help myself. <laughs> You're like about to problem. witness history. We're going to witness history next time. The completion of Rascal. Very excited. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Y'all saw it here first. I can't listen to this song again. Let's get the we the old West song in here. All right. Some of the Rascal soundtrack fucking goes though. All right. Thank you for tuning in on this late night Monday night stream, Rascal. Almost five hours of rascal for your eyes, ears, and soul. I got through this. It was there were some tough parts. Some parts were a joy, thanks to Jeff H. And next time we put Rascal into that PlayStation One, and we close the lid, and press power, and dive back in, we're going to be celebrating. Like champions, like rascal champions, because we deserve that. Enjoy your Monday night, enjoy your Tuesday and your Wednesday. I'm back Thursday, if I'm not somehow more sick tomorrow. We'll, we'll see. If I'm really sick Tuesday and Wednesday, then I'll, I'll probably have to delay the streams. But Thursday is the next stream day. I feel great right now, but I'm also in, I'm I'm rascal high. I've got my rascal flow going. So, who knows? Once I once I close the stream, it might it might all come barreling down. So, I'm gonna get some rest. Enjoy the beginning of your week, and I'll see y'all on the next stream Thursday. Goodbye.
Anyway, we better get to class. Yeah. Gather on Gather on Gather on Gather on Gather on Gather on and I'll see you next time. Remember, yeah. <laughs>